two back to back, baby. What can I say? I'm the best. <coughs> That's not good. That stink bug. Makeup, makeup team. Where's the soul? My God. Why do I feel like the past is watching me on this goddamn night? This is how I die. This was the premonition. The prime level of 140. Oh. Fuck. Fuck. What up, Ram fam? Good to see you all on this Monday afternoon or Tuesday morning for some of you over there in Australia. How are you all doing today? Hope you all had a great weekend. I know I did. Um, caught up on a bunch of that uh, Fallout stuff, that Fallout TV show. <laughs> Sorry, I farted. I could tell. I could tell. You really, uh, you really brought out the trombone on that one. Um, that Fallout TV show, fantastic, especially if you like the games. My God, got us back into playing the games a little bit. Honestly, if they weren't such long games and so out of date, I'd probably be playing them right now. But uh, we're not going to go back to those. I might just play some of that in my free time. Um, but welcome in, everybody. I see Ash Husky was actually in here uh, almost 40 minutes ago. Ash Husky, I don't know if you're still out there, but uh, what's up? How are you doing? How's your weekend? Weeping Willow, how are you doing? You, sir, are late, and I'm glad that you brought up that point. For anyone who uh, wants to know exactly when we're going to go live, we do announce it every single day and even did it today that we were a little bit behind in the time we are going to go live. In the Discord, hit exclamation point Discord. I'm going to hang out Discord. with you until the end of time. Fuck no yeah. pain in Agamax, just our aim scribed for eight months. Am I first? Am I first? You're the first... Um, for eight months, potentially. Those are very sensitive. Holy shit. Merc gifting a sub. What? Let's fucking go. Hell yeah. That means we're close to a hype train. By the way, cheers, everybody. How how are you doing? No pain and Merc. And also, Laura Nato resubscribed for one month. Uh, and they've been subscribed for three months, it said here at the beginning of the screen. So that's actually 15 points we got to throw up there. And uh, also shout out to Trey Pixels for the follow. If Trey Pixels comes in here and chats with us, then that'll be another five points. But uh, they got to come in. They got to show up. They got to show their face. They got to say hi to earn those points. Ooh. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Welcome in, Alpha Wolf. How are you doing? Mm. Mm, that's interesting. It's a new. It's a new blend of cheers juice. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. But anyway, if you want to ever know what time we're going to be live for a little bit behind or something no. like that, we always let you know in the Discord, exclamation point Discord. Hit it. Get in there. Um, we people, well, how's your weekend? Cheeky Monkey, I see you. How were you doing? How was your weekend? How's your Monday? Uh, Cheeky Monkey says, I don't always watch Ram, but when I do, I have coffee. Oh, I see. I see. So when you watch me, you enjoy a nice cup of coffee. And then you also enjoy watching me on the toilet because that's probably what happens right after you drink that coffee. Um, <clears throat> and here we and go. And here we go. It's time. Is that is that your walk-on? <laughs> I feel like some of these walk-ons are unusual. They're not the ones I'm used to hearing, and I love it. Um, Weeping Willow's face when you came on late. Weeping Willow does not like it when I'm late. He's got places to be, like bed. <laughs> so he does With not like it. great power comes great big booty bitches. That's a lesson. That's a lesson for everybody out there, just so you know. Just so you know. Um, even if you are a quote-unquote big booty bitch, you would then get more. So remember that. Great power. It's, it's yours for the taking. Uh, Laura Nato hiding in the corner. Oh, what's in the corner? Hey, it's a good spot. It's a good spot. You got protection on two sides. All right. It's not bad. Hashtag content warning. No content warning today, but if you guys didn't see the schedule in Discord, um, Laura Nato pulled some strings, and we're going to be doing some content warning on Thursday again um, with her, uh, Ice233, and Ash Husky uh, this time. Ash was sick last time, so unfortunately she couldn't join us, but this time we will have her. We'll have a full four. Now that we know what to do, I think we can go places. I think we can get things going. Um, 
Let's see here. Let's see. Oh my God. Look at all these wonderful emotes. Happy Tuesday. Not quite for me, but happy Tuesday to you. Uh, a new shirt. Goddamn looking fresh as fuck. That's right. We got the Eat Game Sleep Repeat shirt. Uh, found only on the merch store below in the link. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got Rami in there. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Let's go. And actually, no pain. I realize that you're tier three, so we got to add a couple more points under there. Holy fuck. That was a lot of points. Really fast. Really fast. Uh, I hope everyone's having a good time. And Merc paid it forward for the gift they got from Cheeky Monkey 07 Gaming. Look at you. Look at you. Karma, he spreads it around. That's that's good. That's good. Get a lottery ticket. This is your time. Don't waste that karma on something else like getting, I don't know, uh, the best piece of popcorn in the bowl. That would be a shame. Get a lottery ticket. Uh, <laughs> the Cheeky Monkey, thank you for giving Merc that uh, ramscription in the first place, helping him want to pass it on. And went to Shortcake. Let's fucking go. Damn. Damn. Damn! I was like, what is that sound? What is that beeping? <laughs> Damn. Lady Ram coming in here with the hype. Lady Ram, I know she's just getting uh, ready. She's hiding in the shadows, waiting to drop that 105 stream streak, which is going to be insane. Another another record. Guess what? I got all the Bioshocks together. Ooh, Weeping Will. Let's go. You know what I found out? On the cusp of this Fallout show coming out, there was more gaming show, movies, news, and oh my god what a time for the camera to freeze i swear it always makes me look so stupid when it freezes um on the cusp of all that i found out that netflix is making a bioshock movie based on the first game and they have some teasers out there but they've announced it like two years ago so it should be coming out in the next year or so which it is netflix they tend to fuck things up but let's hope they don't this time all right let's hope they give us another uh stranger things quality movie made out of bioshock so that's exciting. That's exciting. That made me want to start playing Bioshock too. Now I want to play all these like classic apocalyptic games after uh, watching Fallout. It's amazing. Laura, thank you for the X's and O's. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. How was your weekend, Laura? Merc hitting the nut. Let's go. That is a notable offense. You can hit that here. You told me to be better. That was. That was better. You've been better. Do you know all my walk-ons? I know most of your walk-ons, Merc. I know most of everybody's walk-ons, but if you guys, some of you out there have a, quite a few walk-ons. And for the way, by the way, anyone who's a Ram Scriber can submit a Blurp walk-on like everyone else has been playing up here. And you can submit more than one. And you can switch between them and play which one you feel like playing that day. Um, in fact, Alpha Wolf submitted a new one. Let's take a look. So some of you guys use <laughs> the same ones over and over. And then I get used to those. And when you switch it up, it totally throws me off. Oh, that's a great walk on. All right, Alpha, that's approved. I see OC Shadow submitted one. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know... I feel like that won't be copyrighted all right let's put it through um i don't know if oc's here to know it but it's when it went through that's a good gaming series bioshock's amazing amazing someone i did see someone bring up a good point about the turning the first game into the movie is that the main character never talks your your player so like i don't know because then you've got to make a main character that people like and the source material you have is without spoiling anything almost nothing almost nothing your actions are about it and uh who remembers those that game came out when I'm like dead. I think I'm dead. early oh, 2000s I'm mid 2000s really, really, really slow and my see that one i know backwards. very well i know that one without having to look is weeping willow <laughs> hashtag team ram let's go you know what hashtag team ram that's that's a good cue to take another cheers. Ooh, that's tasty. That's a tasty blend we got here of uh, of juice today. You got sour balls of death on Friday. Oh my god! Well, be careful. You don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> what 
when are you gonna start streaming at lady ram she's gonna be on the stream tomorrow in fact uh so if anyone has not been in the discord i urge you to go in there check it out usually sometime on mondays try to do it before noon my time um cst but sometimes it's a little after last week we didn't do it till tuesday because i forgot but uh we usually will put in the schedule in there for the week um so today we're doing my friendly neighborhood um god damn it why does it always freeze up at the worst times um tomorrow's gonna be house of ashes with lady ram co-streaming with me uh wednesday gonna do final fantasy 7 remake I've got that and Chicken Police. I've got other games that we purchased that we want to play. And I'm now doing a different game each day of the week. And it's becoming <laughs> ridiculous because I want to wrap up Chicken Police. I want to wrap up My Friendly Neighborhood Final Fantasy VII Remake. But it's going to take a while. And last week, the chat in here, the chat. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Get my BB gun. Um, <laughs> last week, the chat didn't even let me play Final Fantasy the one day we were going to. It was our first full, uh, um, what do you call it, just chatting stream. <laughs> and that wasn't meant to happen. OC, welcome in. I was just telling them in case you didn't hear it that we approved your blurb. I like it. <laughs> um, your walk on there. Weeping Will, you said one more week of rubbish Wi-Fi, then good Wi-Fi. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. No, I hope you get good Wi-Fi. Honestly, bad internet is a real problem. It's a real problem out there. Do you know all my walk-ons? No pain. I know. I know. Okay. If I had to. La, 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 la. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> la, 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 free, free. Oh. That was a good episode. That's a good episode. Uh, <laughs> that made me laugh a lot. Um, honestly, if I put on a blindfold. Fold, and only had to listen to you guys play random walk-ons, I could name them all. If we want to play that game, I don't have a blindfold. Not into that, not into that stuff, but uh, we could probably get one. Um, <laughs> we're not into blindfold things, but hey, if we need to, we can make it happen. Um, I think that'd be kind of fun. I just think I do know them, even the obscure ones. <laughs> Is that a cat or a pillow? Either way, that thing's jamming. <laughs> All right, let's reset that. Two semi, oh, okay, three bad ones. Uh oh, bad one. What's walk-ons? Oh, oh. <laughs> I'd say most of the walk-ons are bad. You cycle through your walk-ons, and that's what we appreciate about you there, Alpha. We appreciate the cycling of the walk-ons <laughs> so they don't get old. I love it. I wish I could use my walk-on from Ply for you. It's Pokemon theme with singing as photographs. Uh, so it's a rendition of Nickelback's photograph with Pokemon. That's wild. You know, I tried uh, this shirt originally on uh the game one was the uh Rami Chu. it's the um Rami emote with the pikachu uh onesie on and they wouldn't let me use it because anything that even was remotely close to pokemon's likeness they removed from my store so i thought that was interesting i thought that was interesting never had that happen before um they said it was too close to a copyright can't do it i was very upset by that I was very upset by that. I found something you need to get, so you got a giant sour gummy. You found something I need to get, so you got it for you? I like it. I like it. You're going to have to show me what that is. Send me the picture. Let me know. Leave me puppets alone. I will not leave your puppets alone. We're going to be, as it says in the title, mupping the floor with them. That was a good pun. That was a good pun. All right. Respect the pun. Really? Question mark? Absolutely. Maybe. I don't know what I'm saying yes to, but yes. Uh, welcome one. Welcome all to the Black Ram GX Gaming Show. Enjoys comedy gold as the story unfolds. He's the pride of Uncle Sam. So check him out at only <laughs> at only Rams. So drop that follow and sub and check out his socials. Now sit back, relax, and ram away at the show today. Well, first of all. I'm dead sexy. <laughs> Look at my sexy body. <laughs> I mean... Look, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's a good body. Um, 
everything cheeky monkey said there in that statement is true do not ram at the show all right this is cheap plywood we have holding this thing up if you guys ram at the show it will fall apart okay so we just gotta ask you not to do that your gummy is in food so you got a giant sour gummy that's inside food like is it in a piece of bread why would you do that though i don't get it <laughs> your face is all tingly oh my god see a doctor <laughs> It's in your Discord. It's around the size of your hand. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. I actually opened up Discord on accident today. I usually don't have it open, but I did today. Oh, my God. That's huge. It's like TNT dynamite. Hey. Oh, wait. My legs cut. Break it up. Get out of the way. Make room. I think I'm sitting get him out on of here. a get, nail. Guys. My turn. Hey. Guys, get out of here. <laughs> These guys not know that we're in the middle of a show. Come on now. Come on now. All right. So without further ado, we are back in my friendly neighborhood. Part three. Uh, we're in like the gardens or something. I don't really know what's going on, where we're going. Where we, I, I know there's some backtracking we should do because we have a key. Uh, so we're going to do some backtracking and then some forward tracking. Um, I'm sure the backtracking is just going to be like ammo and stuff that I don't really need. But we have to find out. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. When uh, we started partnering with old Cartoon Network and uh, Nickelodeon, they said this could happen. They said it wouldn't be often, but it's been a lot so far. All right. Going to have to end that partnership amicably. Going to send them a strongly worded letter. In fact, I'm a little busy. I'm going to have my mother send them a strongly worded letter, and uh, that'll be the end of that. My gummy is da bomb. Well, don't take it on a plane with you then. Your face is tingling due to pre-workout and you love it. Oh, oh, a bit of a pre-workout addict. I see. I see. Well, hopefully you drink it and um, that's it. So you're drinking pee, uh, pee. <laughs> pre-workout, not pee workout. And uh, it's it's tingling your face. You're not like sniffing it or something. All right. Let's let's get on that question. Let's get into the game. I don't always write a letter, but when I do, it's strongly worded. I love it. No, I love it, Smelly Monkey. That that was awesome. Oh, you mean you're gonna write a letter? God damn it! Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. We fixed it. I actually thought <laughs> I actually thought that was the game for the first three, four seconds there, and then I realized. Uh, it wasn't when it wasn't just the screen, but me as well. That was getting all tingly. You know what? I got to correct the goal. I realized that we set it to 40, but we did get um, some new subs here. So we got to actually drop it down. We got to drop it down. Thanks to, uh, Laura Nato, Merc, and No Pain No Games Tier Three sub. Thank you all again. Jesus! It's getting a little hot out here, actually. That uh, that was nice. You know, it's been a it's been a warm summer, spring, I should say. I forgot how to play. There we go, and uh, that did a lot. That was actually very nice, very helpful. Thank you, OC. Appreciate you. All right, now we don't want to go that way. We want to go back. Oh, God damn it. It's when you press that alt button too many times. <laughs> Mom, write a letter. Look, moms, they they can make strongly worded letters. All right, mommies have been doing it since the beginning of time. When I write a letter, it's not strongly worded, but it's made out of out to your manager. Oh my God. Don't write to my manager. Okay, so I think we have the red diamond. Okay, so I got one red diamond there. And another one there. So there's two in the stage area. Jesus. 
you. Thank you, producers. Thank you. They always got us. So there's one out here. What is he doing? They didn't mess with my truck, did they? What the fuck is wrong with him? No. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what is the DVD waiting screen doing here? All right, let's tie him up. I thought I could jump. Can I not? I don't remember buttons. Apparently not. It hit the corner. That was so satisfying. I love it. I Every time, every time that uh, we would watch those back in the day, I was just waiting for it to hit the corner. I know what you mean. Uh, you ever see those videos that are just like a uh, compilation of random satisfying things like perfectly cutting a piece of cake or something or tearing a piece of paper quickly that's perfectly in half or like those big things uh, that compression things or whatever, big metal things that just like push down a bunch of Skittles and they shoot out the sides in big strings. Thinking, I'm gonna get the words. I'm gonna get the words. Don't, <laughs> don't you play me like that? That's an inviting message to your manager, Ram. Look, the producers are the closest thing we have to one. Oh my God! We got little guys, little guys everywhere. Crazy clown, welcome in. How are you doing today? Your boy has arrived. Everyone is on notice. Don't make me pass out citations. Give them a citation. Just make sure they know that you're serious, crazy clown. All right? They're not going to know you're serious if you don't start passing out citations. Oh, my God. A secret cheat has been unlocked. I, like, I wonder if this is going to be, like, at the end or something. We'll get to take advantage of some of these cheat things that we're finding. Because so far, I'm not finding Jack Diddley squat. Just not the face. Only Rams won't allow it. You, you gotta look out. Only Rams. Lots of uh, violations. But <laughs> I can hand it out there. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, boy. That level is not going over 50. That's right. You tell them. Make sure they're all aware of the notice that they're on. They're laughing at you, crazy clown. They're laughing at you. That's it. You gotta, you gotta send out them citations. All right. <laughs> you just pooed. <laughs> oh my god. That's why you can't drink that coffee. It's gonna catch up to you. Even just a whiff. Is this guy still tied up? Waddy Wham, I am not happy when I say Team Waddy Wham, Black Wham Aways Weeds Team Black Wham GX Gaming, and I am not happy. You are doing an awesome job keeping him in line. You since will be no pain, no game X Nya. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. That might be the best TTS. There are moments in life <laughs> when a man is. has gotta do what a man has gotta do. No, I don't like that because when people put that on here, that means they're going to do awful things. All of a sudden, then, we're eating Mega Sour Balls, making new stickers. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. We got to make a note. We got to make a note. Uh, me and Alpha have to work through a new sticker. In fact, let me just let me just do this real quick so we don't forget.
All right, perfect. So we won't forget. Just in case we happen. Ah! Look, I'm focused here. Uh, just in case. <laughs> I fucking hate those things. I fucking hate those things. Uh, just in case we get to a second sticker, then we have to make another one. That's it. Everyone's in timeout. <laughs> Cheeky monkey's on high alert. Cheeky monkey. You don't have to stay PG. You just gotta stay PG. Um, forty nine plus. I'd say as long as we stay in that range. Where the fuck am I? Ooh, sticker time. That's right. I sent you a message, Alpha Wolf. So if you can think of any ideas or um, you come up with anything while we're chilling here, let me know. I'm kind of like scared to go out that way, to be honest. No need to stay PG because M is a mature content and this show can't handle the light level of mature. That's true. We are on Twitch here. This isn't kick. The City Tribune, Thursday, August 26, 1982. My friendly scandal, Richie Bromine, known for playing Stevie on the long-running children's show My Friendly Neighborhood, is leaving that production after one of the puppet performers, Ray, attempted to hit him with a clothes iron during an on-set conversation. The fracas erupted after Bromine had made critical comments about the show's creative direction including creator Al Gerswald. According to eyewitnesses, uh, it's all been, or it's always been like this on set, said Bromine in an interview. It's not just Ray, Pearl, Goblet, Ricky. They're all crazy. He added, this has been a long time coming. No one takes me seriously because I'm on MFN, Monday football night. Uh, <laughs> I'm ready to have a career that's more widely recognized. Do you think he found that career? Is Gerswald the sock puppet that keeps showing up? Is he the the leader, the director, the color commentator? Alpha's new drawing. I did tell Alpha she wants to draw one before that she could. She said, nah, not yet, but maybe someday. Hmm. None of this means anything to me. Dude, what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh my god. Send help. <laughs> why, why does SpongeBob always come in here? He always be attacking, always be licking. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sick of that thing. <laughs> I, I hate those Marmadukes. Marmalot, marmalades? What are they? What are they even? Someone help me out. That sound today has you reeling, the licking sound. I, it goes and it goes. It doesn't just stop. All right. Let's investigate elsewhere. Let's uh, let's see if we can find any information. <laughs> You're dying. Stop. Somebody get him CPR. CP Dizzle. If Sponge SpongeBob was a Pokemon, he'd be a Lickitung. You think so? Fuck is she like feral? Oh, there's still something in this room that I've been missing, huh? <laughs> Mo 
<laughs> Patrick is a look at Doug. He does match the right color. Oh my god, have I missed that this entire Oh my god. Moist. No, we're not we're not getting moist. <laughs> I mean, we should. Envy Arcade, welcome in. Yeah, we'll we'll allow it. We'll allow it not on that occasion. <laughs> How are you doing today? How's your weekend, Envy? The mail comes every day. I look out the window waiting for the moment it appears. And then when it does, I rush outside to see what... Everyone look out, this guy needs SPR and I'm trained. <laughs> get, get him get him that SPR, quick. <laughs> SPR. I love it. I love it. Uh, I'm like a regular Ram, but I'm colorful. That's right. That's right. Look, Space Ram doesn't fuck around. All right, how do we get in here? How do we get into this safe? Does anyone know? This is not the right direction. We've gone too far. I'm great. Got a custom Xbox controller from the shop. Top notch NES action going on. Whoa. Wait, you got a custom Xbox controller that looks like an NES controller or something? That actually sounds sick. I did see um, with the release of the show, obviously, anything and everything Fallout um, has been going crazy uh, since last week to this week. I saw an ad on Facebook. Like, I just opened it up to put a video on there. It was the first thing from Xbox um, that they have the Xbox, what do they call it? L controller labs or whatever. They're labs for, so you can design your own. You can even etch your name into it or whatever you want i mean you could probably edge you know fuck you short stuff in there if you want um but i want to do my name and all that and they had these fallout ones that would look super cool but the etching would be really hard to see in the fallout one so ultimately i gave up very expensive very expensive to customize your own and i think i remember looking at it when they first came out um and considered making my own but i didn't get it we do have some custom ones though not not really custom, I guess, but just crazy cool ones. We got uh, we got the old Resident Evil. I used the fuck out of this back in the day when I shouldn't have on games like Apex. So the sticks are bad. I find like shooters where you're moving around constantly all the time and you're stressed. Um, wow, that one was dusty. Um, I find those really wear down the sticks worse than just playing a normal game like this. Ones where you're like stressedly running away and trying to get around corners, you're just much harder on it and you don't realize it. But uh, over here, we got the Starfield controller, which is fucking sick. Fucking amazing. I've got, uh, I don't know if I have any other like special controllers. If I could like completely customize one and make like a black RAM controller, I don't know how or where you'd go to do that. I 100% would. It'd probably be insane to pay for, though. America's jamming to RAM. That's what we do. That's what we do here in America. Envy, no, no, I got an Xbox controller for my PC so I can play all my ROMs. Oh, hell yeah, this one's hooked up to my PC. The red one I'm using. Um, I've got the red one for my PC and the blue one for Xbox. And the special ones I only use once in a while because I don't want to wear them down. Um, except for the... Resident Evil one, which I did wear down. <laughs> which is why I'm a little more um, choosy about when I use my Starfield one. Uh, playing Mike Tyson's Punch-Out at the moment. Classic. Classic. I don't think I ever beat it, though. I, I got pretty far on it a few times. I'm just listening to see if there's like a tick. Oh, I hear a tick. Although it could be confused as a lurk sound. Maybe maybe that's not the one. You almost got the Oscar Mayer weenie controller? Shut up. There's no Oscar. Is there an Oscar Mayer wiener com <laughs> controller? Because I actually wouldn't put it past. Uh, the collabs that happen these days between gaming and like everything in life is crazy.
Looking in the shadows. Hollywood superstar Shia LaBeouf. So we got two triangle doors over there. Whenever we get the triangle key, we'll have to come back to the sewers. Ah, there's one. Is that a diamond? I think that's what mine is. In the sewers. How do we get to the sewers? I think is my biggest question. I don't know if I actually quite remember. When are you getting Lady Ram a pink uh, controller? Your manager needs it. She has a pink controller. She has a pink controller and a purple controller. And this like neon pink cyan blue mix. I uh, showed her my controller collection and she became a controller fiend too. It's a real problem. Actually, controllers aren't super expensive like they used to be. I mean, even to get, like, nice custom ones isn't as expensive as it once was. There was a time Sometimes where it was fucking cars. ridiculous. Got him. You really want a scuff controller, but paying two hundred fifty dollars seems ridiculous. What's a scuff controller? Never heard of that. I have an elite over there. That was pretty expensive, but um, I really liked it. I liked the features of the elite, which I think you kind of get pretty much in modern Xbox controllers, um, for the most part. But I hated the back paddles. I hated the back paddles. I thought I was gonna really like them. Um, and be like, oh, you know, it's this cool feature. Like, it's easier to just tap something quick to maybe shoot or whatever. But, like, I just found myself screwing up all the time. All the time pressing a button I didn't mean to. The hell did I just pick up? A fucking clothing iron? For tanker or boiler? I don't remember what that would be for. They have an Oscar Mayer Wiener controller on Amazon? Shut up. You alright in there, buddy? Ooh, another film. Holy cats. All right, hold on. I got to look this up. I got to see this, if this is real. Oh, my God. It's a Super Nintendo controller. That's fucking hilarious. Oh my god. Hyperkin limited edition pixel art Bluetooth controller official Oscar Mayer edition. That's so funny. I did not believe you. <laughs> I did not believe you, and I feel like for good reason. That seems like a ridiculous thing from the F. Look up uh, the Xbox custom shop or a controller shop. Not a paid ad. I swear, $220 Elite Series 2 um, with case charger knobs, etc. All including. Um, engraving shipping takes four weeks to get it though. That does suck because you pay all that and you're like, all right, is it even coming? Xbox custom controller shop. Xbox design labs comes up first. Is it not Xbox? Oh, I see scuff here. Why is it? It has like its own mic mute button built into the bottom 
That's interesting. They have some beautiful controllers, though. Holy. I'm just saying, I'm a sucker for good designs. Here's the problem, though. It's like... It's like playing a first-person shooter game and getting a skin for your character. I will do it. I have done it a lot <laughs> in Rainbow Six Siege and Apex Legends um, in particular, but you're never looking at it. It's in your hands, and you're always looking at the screen. You, <laughs> you will almost never look at that controller. Maybe on the wall. Shimmy, shimmy, swivel, swivel. I'm just saying, he's got a good point. This guy knows music. Um, I'm going to have to look into that a little more, just out of curiosity. Oh, my God. The boat's not here. The boat should always be here. That's an atrocious... Cheeky Monkey, I'll be back in 15. Sounds good. See you when you're back, brother. Lurking in the shadows. Thank you for the lurk. No pain. Weeper Will. You can't wait uh, to get back into Bioshock. Dude. I think about playing Bioshock all, excuse me, all the time. All the time. I'm considering it. Wait a minute, what the fuck is this? Are you telling me like I can't go this way? High end modded controller. Oh scuff does high end mods. Okay. I'm look like I'm looking at these buttons on there. I'm like, what is all this? That's interesting. I never had a modded controller. Gravy. How the fuck do I get out of here then? I can't go back up the slide with the right pair of boots. I mean, you probably could though. Hyperkin makes the weenie controller. That's what I saw there. That's so cool. That's so cool. I'd definitely consider it. Ah! All right, so. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm, yes, quiet. I see. I see. Mm hmm. I got it. I got it. The way out will be mine. No pain. You have a blue PS5 controller. You look at that all the time. <laughs> Do you ever do you ever lose at games because you're too busy staring at your controller? Let's be excellent. Let's be excellent. Let's be excellent. Let's be excellent. Damn, I tried to get around him. Did not work. Thought I could give him the yo shake. Yo Rammy reflex might get to him, but he was too good. He was too good. He knew what I was up to. He knew my plays. Um, by the way, Wild Grimer in the chat. Wild Grimer out there. Cheers, everybody. <sighs> that new concoction, real delicious. Real delicious. I hope nobody gives me any hydrates. I'd have to drink something that uh, I think tastes pretty good. <laughs> you can play Bioshock. You got them free on PS5. I think... They've all come free at some point or another, but I paid for them all brand new when they came out. I think I got the first Bioshock. I think I got like kind of like a beat up copy or something from GameStop back in the day. Some used copy. All right. I thought we were about to be civil here. That's kind of fucked up. That's kind of fucked up. You know, just come in here. Start throwing poop. No, 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 you didn't. You did not redeem, choose my accent. I'm, I'm rusty. 
All right. What are, what what are you gonna do? You did say that you were saving for that, but I wasn't like ready for it. Like Monday, fifty minutes in. <laughs> All right, what are you gonna do? Whatever accent Lady Ram chooses, I have to do it to the I worst of my. Have a run. <laughs> I couldn't hear over fucking Squidward's fucking squiddy ass. <laughs> assaulted, assaulted, brothers. Um, whatever she chooses, I have to give my absolute worst attempt for the next five minutes. By the way, this is a piece of bacon on a plate. Sure doesn't look like a big old slice of ham. That's for sure. Angel, thank you for that lurk. Appreciate you. How are you doing today? Just because you're lurking doesn't mean you can't tell us how you're doing. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you had a great weekend. Hmm, what should I choose? I don't know what should you choose. You could choose anything. Is that like an urn full of ashes? Why is that? Don't even know what Bulgarian is. I'd literally have to do... I'd just have to make something up. Can you do Valley Girl? Oh. I, like, I don't... I don't have, like, much content to go off of. So I could, I could do it. But uh, I cannot promise you it would be good. I can... I can do it. Eastern European 14th century vampire? It is good. <laughs> That's really specific. <laughs> I can do Count Chocula at best. Um, no, so <laughs> what What are you going to say officially, Lady Ram? I can attempt Valley Girl. I can attempt <laughs> Eastern European 14th century vampire. Um, it, honestly, if I try Bulgarian, it's probably just going to be Russian. I don't really know what Bulgarian is. The most experience I have with Bulgarian is, uh, Krom from Harry Potter 4. That's all I have to go off of. And he doesn't really speak much. Mmm, bacon fat. Why eat the meat when you can eat straight fat? Fat's not even bad for you. Sugar is. The sugar companies have pinned the blame on fat because of its name for far too long. Honestly, I'm sick of it. I say we stand up for fat, brothers, and uh, we take it to the sugar companies. Down with sugar, up with fat, you know what I'm saying? It's not even bad for you. Jamaican? All right, someone play me, play me a Jamaican blurp. Get me, I need, I need, to, I, it's like, you know when they have the little toning forks and they go, me, 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 and then they get the right me, and then they go, like, I need, I need something like that to get me in the right, <laughs> yeah, man, oh, okay, okay, all right, let me know, let me know if someone will uh, appease the blurp request, if not, I will just, I will just get going. Otherwise, I'll wait till that blurb. Oh, it's that tied up guy still. You can look. All right, let's go. If you can play me anything that has to do with a bobsled team, I'm in. It's copyrighted. All Jamaican language is copyrighted. Well, fuck me running. That's pretty bad. <laughs> That's pretty rough. We can't we can't use any of the language. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how you copyright a whole accent, but good lord, they've done it. 
They've done it. You dead yet, man? Never died. Never died. <sighs> Fudge. Fudge is English. Actually, I think it's American. It's American. All right, Lady Ram, if you've looked and you've given up, let me know. I will give it to my best to try, man. <laughs> that would be a funny way. That'd be a funny way uh, in the future to tell me which language you're going with just by playing a blurp uh, or accent by playing a blurp of that accent. What the hell? This looks like a big boiler. There's a door right there. Who knew? Who could have guessed? Not me, that's for sure. The hand's about to pop out, though. Gordon, where are you going? Where do you think? What's the matter with you? Don't you want to be our friend? You have a funny way of making friends. I'm lucky I haven't been hugged to death or eaten. Okay, I admit we're not at the top of our game, but you can't throw us out just because we've made a few mistakes. Some small ones. I'm just doing my job. Uh-huh, sure. I take it blasting your way through hordes of allegedly psychopathic puppets is a normal day at work for you, hmm? Seriously, Gordon, who hurt you? I don't know what you're talking about. No? So you were just born a bully? I'm not a bully! Surprised you're not a detective. They're always bashing down doors and brandishing guns. Or maybe a GI give you a chance to rampage through some small defenses. Don't say that, Ricky. Say what? Don't talk about the war. Why not? Just saying. Seems war like happened. Exactly War's over. Sort of place you <laughs> <laughs> huh. Give it with letters made. Oh my god, that actually cost me around. Is that 25? Now I'm down to 26. Was the seesaw nailed down? I also hate how dark it is. Without like a flashlight or anything. No, like straight up brightness. How's your uh, deep fried pig fat? Fucking delicious. How's your standard ham? Guess what? We also get standard ham. And it's also pretty fucking good. Me neither, Somalian <laughs> cheeky monkey. Me neither. But here we are. <laughs> and it's still getting brought up to this day. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Can you open the door? At least you didn't make me do puppet voice. All right. I'm about um, ready to just start attempting a Jamaican as best we can. Well, we're waiting for a blurp to get us set up, but apparently finding those accents is tough. So let's get it started. All right, just change the minute. Let's go. He never did it, man. Oh, <laughs> okay. Whoa, what the fuck What's is that? that? We're gonna have to take him to the bob.
all the Jamaican the blurps are copyrighted. Hmm. That's no good, brother. Because they're all songs or movies. Hmm. <laughs> I don't... I feel... <laughs> I feel like uh, I'm doing a real bad job <laughs> without hearing any. <laughs> and I can't to think of any words. Yeah, it's almost coming out uh, <laughs> something entirely different. Entirely different, man. James? James Sullivan. Maybe I can use this to dissolve whatever's blocking Man. the elevator in the hotel. Brother. <laughs> All right. I you know what? Actually, I could probably play something. I could probably play something in my headphones and then kind of restart after I hear something. Um Okay, listen to some Jamaican gospel music. That way it avoids any potential copyrights. We'll try it again because honestly I feel like it's terrible. <laughs> I, I really do. I need to hear an accent sometimes to get into the swing of it. It's hard to just jump in willy-nilly out of nowhere. Cool Runnings, Cool Runnings, good movie. Good movie there. Sometimes Jim clocks up the hotel elevator. If this happens, you can unstick it by playing this compound. Oh my god, I don't even know what words are being said. <laughs> Scared the fuck out of me. Maybe I shouldn't have listened to a stand-up to an impression of Jamaicans. It's one of the first videos I came across. <laughs> the City Tribune, Monday, September 7th, 1981. Editorial. Last night, I was uh, watching a rerun of one of the old newsreels from the war when one of the stories jumped out at me. <laughs> In an operation... A platoon of our soldiers found themselves trapped in a collapsing mine. As they ran to the entrance, one of the timbers supporting the tunnel began to fall until a private Joshua Hartwright came in on his shoulders. As he held up the wood, his friends scrambled out under his outstretched arms until after everyone else was out, he let go, and the tunnel collapsed in on him. Burying him forever in the earth. It's getting better, brothers. Uh, when I heard that, <laughs> when I heard that story, I felt a mixture of emotions: pity for that waste of human life, anger at the injustices of their war, but most of all, I was uh, horrified. Horrified that a person might have to do such a thing. Horrified that it was being held up as a inspiration 
to lay down your life for someone else to lose everything. To have the veil torn and the scripts of your life. Scripts. Scripts of your life. <laughs> vanish into nothingness. How could anyone ask someone else to do that? Why would they do that voluntarily? <laughs> if you don't, do they call you a coward? Getting better. She caught me red-handed. Banging with the girl next door. <laughs> Picture this. We're both butt naked. Why did you choose to read something? Uh, because, man. That is what we do around here. We read things. And I found that the best way to do a Jamaican accent is to really focus in on the T's. You ready? The City Tribune, Monday, August 18th, 1980. Lifestyle opinion column. Somehow, life in the city doesn't seem as enjoyable as it once was. But that don't just mean because of the economy. I feel a burning anxiousness, a constant sense of missing something that saps the enjoyment from my normal activities and makes everyday discomforts almost intolerable. Boom! On the subway, people's elbows jabs into your personal space. Angry pedestrians yell at you on the street. When I finally get home from work and snap on the television, a breath, a sigh of relief compared to the world outside. Television is safe, predictable. I can choose for what, what to watch and avoid what feels uncomfortable for a few moments. I can escape the anxiousness and become lost in the world of pleasant dreams. You switched into Mario somewhere along the way. You know, it's hard to stay on one, all right? It's, it's difficult. I do switch. I do switch. And I don't even... It's, it's phrases. Phrases get me. Phrases get me, man. Look, there's no way. There's no way to stay on one accent forever. All right, so now we need to figure out how to feed the dogs. Poor so pups probably haven't been fed in a long time. Whoa, dear brother. Where is the German you're talking about? All right, now, man, we need to go back. We need to go back. I'll be back and uh, check out the other area. <laughs> I don't know how long we have to do this for, so I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> Oh, nice doggy there. Nice doggy. Nice dog! No! no! Oh, jeez. <laughs> there was a little. There was a little bit of Terminator, man. <laughs> a little bit of Jamaica Terminator. Fuck at this dog. Oh man, that's gonna hurt. Oh no, dear man, there's some more dogs. We need to get out of here. Sheet. <laughs> oh, so it appears if we do not get close to the dogs, they will not get close to us. Yeah, sure you do, cheeky monkey, whatever you say, whatever you say. You come out here, you talk about, you go over there. <laughs> 
That's not what we do. One love, brother. One love. Do you like that? Got one better for you there, brother. Did you know that there's three little birds? <laughs> They're on my doorstep. I can't. I, I don't know. I don't feel like Bob Marley sounds. He doesn't have like the thick accent in the music anyway. Three little birds are on my doorstep. We need to figure out how to get to this part of the sewer there. Brother. Oh, I think that is it, maybe, perhaps. So we have to. I'm by, by the way, the time has run out. So <laughs> we're good. We're good on this terrible attempts that you're making. I feel like there's parts of it. I did. I did a really good spot on accent for small se parts, small segments of that, and then other segments were atrocious. First of all, I just wasted a shotgun round. Very upsetting there. Very upsetting. Oh, spot on. It was spot on. Thank you. I thought it was pretty good myself. Okay, so we're going to backtrack a little bit because I'm on danger. Like Rodney Dangerfield. And I need to attempt to heal. By the way, Taj of the King, I didn't say it earlier. I saw <laughs> um, it just was uh, responding to you. But uh, how was your day? How are you doing? How was your weekend? Look, NV Arcade wanted Easter, a uh, 14th century Eastern European vampire. And so we had to include a little for him. It was only fair. Didn't mean to save there, but fuck me, I did it. Wanted to heal, then save. Let's go. It was great, been busy lately? Awesome. Oh, that's a good thing. I hope. Hopefully it's a good thing. Hopefully it's not like busy doing a bunch of work uh, on top of not getting paid. You know, like the weekends where you got to go around helping people move, setting up a bunch of things. Hopefully you're getting something out of it. No, it's good, busy. Hell yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I know. It's starting to get warm outside. I know it's going to start to amp up. We're starting to get into that busy season. Like, my entire summer the last two years has been, uh, if I'm lucky, I get, like, a free weekend, maybe two the entire summer, to just relax, unwind, take a break for a little bit. Otherwise, usually my summers, it's like every single weekend is something. And a lot of traveling. And then the traveling there and back is really taxing. And it's like, you just don't relax. But you have a lot of fun. But you have a lot of fun. So. Not a big fan of these dogs there, brother. 
Don't use me a, cr <laughs> a crutch to your failure. What? First of all, that's on you. That's on you, Taja. I would have never done that on my own. <laughs> Angel, what's up? How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing amazing. How about yourself? We're having a good time here. We're just trying to figure out this survival horror game. I think we might be near in the end. I don't know for sure. Don't know what it wants me to do. Really can't see. You'll be saving for another accent. Pegs in that bucket. Why are they saying that? Oh, hello. Are these supposed to be in some sort of an order? Cause like, oh wait, they are all over the park. Okay, okay. Still a pain in the ass there. Lady him, did you change your color? I see you. I see you. Wait, what did I do? I don't know. <laughs> you distracted me and the dog hit me. So it has to be anyone's fault but mine. <laughs> I'm just playing Taja. What's going to be your next accent? All right, so we got sock pocket over there. Hat ladies in here. I'm backing up. I'm backing up. I like the bright sand color. I don't feel like that's an uh, one you often see used. I'll say this. I also kind of know people by their colors. Okay, so he's right here. So when the colors change, it throws me off a little bit. Waluigi accent? Oh my god. He only says one thing. Wow. He's like bottom left, he's bottom right. Who else is here? Oh, Birdo is over here, okay. There's another one? Oh, yellow cap guy. Wait, no, I knew about that. Okay, so underneath is hammer guy. Smelly monkey, what's your problem? What's your problem with my Jamaican accent? Huh? 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 
real rude of you to say these things. Okay, at this point, I think I should have these correct. So it's just down to getting these three in the right order. There it is! There it is! Let's go! Oh. Thank you, brother. Hope you feel better soon. Having a bad health day, so the combo of that plus uh, stickers is setting off a reaction. Oh, jeez. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully, hopefully it's not too bad. So you're saying that my Jamaican accent negatively impacted your physical health? Thank you for giving me so much power. Now I know what I can do. Now I know the power I have in my hands. Now I know the strength of my Jamaican accent. The things I can do. <laughs> so if you're ever getting out of hand, if you're ever getting a little PG-13 on us, then uh, I'll have to just use my Jamaican accent there. I just might there. I just might. <laughs> okay. I've been making that all these nuts jokes for years. I, I never heard it before when I came up with it. And I said, that's hilarious. And I didn't hear anyone else make it for pretty much until just now, honestly. I think maybe I've heard somebody once or twice before say it, but I can't really remember a specific time. Um, obviously, I'm not, like, doing that. It's my joke. I came up with it. Nonsense. It's too obvious of a joke. But I never heard it before I thought of it. Just saying. Just saying. It's one of the jokes I can say I truly thought of originally. <laughs> I love that one. You had a customer say that to you the other day and you were crying, laughing. It's such a good one, though. So I get it. I get it. It's a good dad joke. Are these nuts jokes dad jokes now? <laughs> It says there's more stuff here, but I can't seize it. Is it just getting the Jenny working? Ah, <sighs> Finkelsteins. All right, so. How do we get into off limits? Do we need the dog food or whatever? I want into that aviary. But we need the other half of the disc thing. I just don't know how to get down here. I don't know where that elevator comes from. You can't do the tunnels or any of the waterways. Fuck. So there's that elevator. But what about that elevator? I think that just goes up. Yeah, it does. Oh, we can get to the ceiling. Okay. Let's go back to the studio. There's another room up there we can get to. Maybe that'll do it. Maybe that'll do it. Maybe that's the trick there. My intention is to beat this tonight.
Okay, there's an arrow there, like this is a location. Um, I can tell you right now, it is not. A rat, rat, rat. I like that there's puppet wolves, the size of wolves. All right, let's get in there. I also think um, the masks that we placed up top, there might be a point to taking them back. All right, so we got two ways to move here. Try this way first, and then we'll go up last. Got an idea? Nothing but a thing. Yeah. I was about to start doing the Jamaican accent again. But then I was like, wait, smelly monkey leaf. <laughs> Thursday, February 19th, 1981. I got used to doing it for reading. So the last two that we read, we did in the Jamaican accent. MFN Studios market survey. In recent years, television viewership has surged and television uh, programming has multiplied and diversified. As broadcasters scramble to capitalize in a rapidly growing audience, new favorites like Crime City and Drama Daily have grown quickly in popularity as the war generation ages and their children beginning to enter their ranks of adulthood imitate their parents viewing habits in the same period however my friendly neighborhoods ratings have plummeted while surveys suggest that the show is as popular as ever with the under six crowd the new generation of parents is less and less interested in showing it to their children preferring instead more mainstream offerings like dinosaur mayhem great show dinosaur mayhem if you haven't seen it what are you doing this has prompted the city network broadcasting group to pressure uh, put pressure, I should say, on MFN Studios to reimagine re the core principles of its series, which they, of course, are not going to do. <laughs> I just want to play these instruments. I just want to fucking jam out with my bongos. Wait, what did I get? Trumpet polish? Where do I have these? It's like, do I need them? A half full can of trumpet polished. Interesting. So we got a pump piece. Green triangle. Key. Trumpet polish. I don't see a single trumpet in here. At least we can do that, honestly. If you couldn't, it's gonna be real upset. It's gonna be really mad. <laughs> honestly, the fact that you can't play all these things, real shame. Real shame. There isn't even a fucking trumpet in this studio. Apparently there's a door over here. But it's blocked. What? What? I don't understand. Why? Do I have to play this for?
I can play it from anywhere. Oh, it's because there's another one behind the wall. Okay, I'm like, how is this working? Hmm. There's a trumpet. It's really absurdly made, and there's no mouthpiece, but... Hmm. All right, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. We're going up to the uh, Tupper floor. I don't want to be on this floor anymore. Felt a little cutscene. I got scared. Not going to lie. Block means you can't go there. Oh, thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Had no idea. What would I do without your wise wisdom? <laughs> so, Ram, how's your day? My day has been good. My day has been good. Um, busy day at work there. Got a lot of work done. Got caught up on a lot of things. But it's been chill. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. You realize nobody asked me rude much? Exactly. I'm always shocked. I'm always shocked. I ask everybody how their day is. Nobody asked me. It's all right. Chopped liver. Used to be in it. Weep and So your backlog got a whole lot bigger now. You've never played Metro before. Are they good? They are amazing. Although... I'm going to tell you right now, if you ever want to get in the Metro series, you have to start at the very beginning and move forward because mechanically, the first one is very plain and then the second one is like a masterpiece and really, really builds on the first one, adds a ton of mechanics, just puts out an absolutely fire game. And then the third one really expands on all that and it's amazing as well totally sucked me in love those games first one has an amazing story it's just not as sharp mechanically as the others but you have to play the first uh to tr well i think it tells you i think it kind of backtracks in the beginnings and tells you what happened in those first two but uh, i would definitely recommend recommend 10 out of 10 series um big chungus i see you are you doing big chungus Thank you for hitting them lyrics. Appreciate you. No pain. Did we ask you how was your day? Is that why you're saying that? No pain. How was your day? How was your weekend? Lunch is my Ugh. Sorry. Sounds like we're uh, getting a bit of a yawn here. Roadkill outside. When I'm smart, I eat Get that girl some Cheerios. And when I'm in a hurry, I... Whoa, well, maybe I shouldn't talk about that one. <laughs> okay, so we got the safe and the fucking... Orb of Osiris or whatever out there. In stage four in that room. I have no clue on how to open those. The hotel has one red thing in it, but don't know what that is. Probably nothing, honestly, right now. Don't do that. Don't stomp faces. Not very nice. And really, I just need to get back in the sewers into the, this section. So we can get to where that red is. And there's three triangle key spots. And I don't see how. I think it has to be this elevator up here. Can't stand her talking. Somebody stop her. Somebody stop her. Your was okay. You failed. Your agility um, comp babysitting was okay until you put the boys to bed. 
Mrs. No Pain's birthday was good. Ooh, what'd you guys do for Mrs. No Pain's birthday? Did you guys go out? Did you get some food? You believe you got them on all the DLC? Like, back in the 360 era, you could get... Oh my god, I hate her. I hate her so much. You could get, um... How did I end up here? Oh, okay. Those games for like two bucks and some change. Oh my god. Little I only feel that running. Little assholes. Alright, we're gonna take all these masks back. I think we're gonna need them at the front desk. Hard to say. Hard to say. Really running out of space here. We'll just make two trips. That's fine. Um, people below, you said, uh, or you asked. So is Metro like Bolo Bioshock? Or Fallout? Um, it's very... Very much like Fallout. Not as much Bioshock. But it's got a darker tone. It's it's different. You just... You gotta play it. You gotta play it. You never beaten Bioshock fully, so you want to do that? You've never beaten Bioshock fully? How could you? The game is just so enthralling to me. Like, I couldn't... I couldn't stop. Okay, you just gotta know what's going on. I love it. I love it too much. No, they're fun games. They're fun games. I don't think they're terribly long, but they're not, like, super short either. Like, you get your money's worth for sure. Um, and everyone always says, if I like Fallout, I should try Metro 2. Now I can. Absolutely. Um, yeah, very different tones, gameplay one. I mean, there's similarities for sure, but not as much as maybe people might make it out to be. Um Similar themes for sure. Red Trash Panda, welcome in. Thank you for that lurk. How are you doing? How is your day? How's your weekend? So you start the game, then never finish it. Um, sure. Whatever keeps your boat afloat, as they say. I just saw that coin on the ground. Did not see that before. Ooh, hello. And now the area is cleared. Now we're good. Now we're good. Up top, we just need to find that last film. Which this whole place is done. 
I swear this elevator over here on the far right has to be the one in the garden. It's really the only thing I can think of is that safe that we have not been in. And there's something here in the office, potentially. <sighs> I just don't know where to use this battery, the trumpet polish, the pump piece. I haven't the faintest. Him singing that humming over there has killed me. You beat the first game. Can't remember much of two, though. The first game's got a really, really, really iconic story. I don't really remember everything about the second one. I remember they introduced the big sister. You are a big daddy. I wonder, is it like more coins on the floor or something? That's going to be all it is. Hmm. Don't know. Don't care, they say. You want to get back to beating uh, games so you get those installed and No More Heroes 3. What is No More Heroes 3? Never heard of that one. As long as you're still out there, you're still a hero. You're a hero to me there. This looks the most like a boiler that I've ever seen. Shut up, Dow. Damn right, not do it again. Thing is, those dogs are invincible, so it's a real, real problem. Real problem on our hands here. Hello, are you a boiler? You sure don't seem like it, but goddamn, I'll settle for anything. Just to get rid of some of the shit. Welcome in, Victoria, by day. Although, it's getting a little late. It's getting a little late out here. Getting to be Victoria by afternoon, as they say. How are you doing, Victoria? How's your weekend? Maybe there's some food, like, somewhere around in a place. Didn't mean to do that. That scared the shit out of me. I'm not going to lie. Take that. Take that, you big dumb, you dumb stupids, you puppets, you puppet dogs. <laughs> good evening, good evening to you as well from Transylvania. Uh, you did uh, a dumb thing and accidentally deleted your Necro on Diablo 4, so you got oh, how'd you do that? How did you manage? We've all done that. I've never chosen to grind a character back after accidentally deleting it. I have instead chosen to just quit the game. I was like, hey, brother, it's a good time to move on. So it's got such a backlog, so I'm like, Psh, I'm out. I'm out. Hmm. Pump piece. 
Caffeine triangle key power battery pack. I'm not gonna beat this today, am I? For all I know, the things I need down below. Only one thing holding me back. How was mine? My day was good. My weekend was good. We uh, we watched the new Fallout TV show. Super good. Can't recommend it enough. On Amazon Prime there. Um, which made us want to play the games a little bit. So we played a little bit of the old games. Had some delicious food. All the good stuff. All the good stuff. Nothing too crazy. You know, I could just leave now. <laughs> I was wondering if there was like a fuck this, I'm out option. And there is. That's amazing. And no. I didn't like this job anyway. <laughs> Diablo season changing before you deep dive that. Are you enjoying this game? Did you buy the $100 horse skin? No pain. You let go of your level 100 Charizard? It's a big mistake there. Not one I would recommend. Like, they don't do anything either. This game's starting to make me feral. I'm going to turn into a cat real fast if this game doesn't start to give me some clues. Yeah, I watched the whole thing. I watched all of it. It was amazing. Simply the best. Simply the best for less. So we got the weed out. We got the trumpet polish. We need the Luma Wax. Luma Lux film developer. I can assume I know where that is. We just need the last film which is probably in this room. There's no fucking clue. This is driving me nuts. I didn't go up to 16. Maybe there's something here. Nope. 826.82. Nothing there. Nothing to this one. Hmm. What you doing in my waters? Cheers and you. Cheers and you. That's what I'm doing. Thank you. Thank you. I was getting thirsty. Need to uh, drink while I think, I think. If I'm a director and I'm sitting here, what am I looking at? What even is this room? I'm so confused. Does anybody 
<laughs> Does anybody out there know what I have to do next? Does anybody want to give me a clue? A spoiler. <laughs> Does anyone want to Google <laughs> what we do next so I don't have to and technically I don't uh, take the fall for Googling it? <laughs> I know uh, you hadn't seen it at all thurs or on Thursday, but uh, now you have it. Um, yeah, scratch that itch. I know we played a little Fallout 3 on the weekend. Um, we set up Lady Ram with a character. Um, and got her going. And she got um, super into it. Super, super deeper into it. Yeah, she was having a lot of fun with it. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. Now it makes me want to play Fallout 3. So if I have a little bit of free time here and there before the uh, internal Fallout hype goes away, I might play some Fallout 3 again, get back into that. I just I don't think it's going to fit with all the other shit we got to do on the stream yet. It's also super old and all that. Like I don't know. So we're probably not going to play it on stream at all. But um. But yeah, I really like that game. Really, really like that game. It's Fallout 3, 4, 2, uh, or Vegas, I should say. All good. And by the way, if you have Game Pass on PC, you do get, like, every Fallout game. But overall, I love the show. By the end, by the end, I loved it. In the beginning, I was like... You know, I had some some small issues. By the end, I was in love. They solved my problems. Um, and by the end, I was already looking up when are they planning on releasing the second season. And they're like, well, officially it hasn't gotten a green light. And I'm like, what do you mean it hasn't gotten a green light? It literally cliffhangers for another season. That's not that's not a spoiler. That's just letting you know. It does lead into a second. And that's when I saw, saw that bioshock was getting a movie on netflix and i started going down that rabbit hole which is no information for you know we all got that itch we all want to know more and all there is is a bunch of people speculating with absolutely no information it's it's ridiculous but has anyone out there played fallout 3 you know there's a big decision you have to make early on in fallout 3 Uh, about the fate of a whole town, Megaton, Megaton, Megaton. Um, I'm just curious, what what did you guys do in your first playthroughs? We well, got them all now. Absolutely, absolutely. One, two, three, four. New Vegas. There's two in between one and two actually as well. Uh, they're like Brotherhood of Steel games or something. I don't know. I can't remember what the name is, but there's two in between. Um, what level spoiler do you want? I just need direction. You have the safe code, or you can have the location where you can find it. I'll take the location. I'll take the location. Um, you've watched about 30% of One Piece since January. Not bad. Also, Fallout and Bioshock is free on PS as well. Nice. Nice. Kill them all. Uh, so you don't pay attention. What does that mean? I'm chatting it up. Nick Sunbro, welcome in. How are you doing? First time through, you were nice to Megaton. See, same here, same here. Uh, I think, I don't know if I ever did, I think I did like an evil playthrough all the way through where I blew it up and was just being a dickhead to everybody for fun. Um, but my first time, I was nice to everybody. I find it hard when I play those games with those moral decisions to just outright be a jerk. <laughs> I find it really hard. I can make the jerk decision if it really, really benefits me um, and they were maybe being a bit of a jerk or something. Um, if I'm, like, desperate, I might be able to do it. But most of the time, I have a hard time making the evil moral decision. Basement behind a triangle door. I swear to God, if this is the triangle door. You failed the task and it blew. 
What? Oh, oh, did you? Oh, oh, you failed to, uh, <laughs> you failed to diffuse it. I didn't even know you could. I was always scared. Here's a triangle door. Two others, though, said kill him. That's true. That's true. They may have. You blew up Megaton and then killed every one of the fancy tower. <laughs> Took it over for yourself. That's awesome. The thing is, is the people in Ten Penny Tower are just dicks. Everyone is mean to you. And you're like the poorest person in there. So <laughs> they just look down on you. Although I think, isn't that, there's um like one of the follow-up um, missions when you are in Ten Penny Tower. If you talk to the guard at the gate, uh, he asks you, because there's a ghouls that are trying to get in there. They're like, we got money. We're, our money's as good as anyone else's. And they're like super racist against ghouls in uh, the Fallout series. And they're like, we'll never have some stinking zombies in our tower. And so, <laughs> and so they're like, well, we'll do anything to get in there. And I think you can give them like, there's like a basement access or something you can give them. And uh, they can sneak in and murder everyone for you. <laughs> Or I think you might be able to double cross them too and also take all their shit. I think in my super evil playthrough, I think that's how it happened. Is like when I was done with the missions, double cross and take all of their good stuff. Take their combat shotgun, take their combat armors. It's all mine. You got you in trouble with your pink? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything, sir. You were too young to uh, be given up the opportunity to blow up something or defuse it. It's like... <laughs> Damn, damn, Weeping Willow. Near the fuse box. Offices, West Basement. All right. Cheeky Monkey, is it the West Basement or the East Basement? Because if it's the East Basement, I can't get in there. like <laughs> fuck arms make the town go boom boom <laughs> and we also found um the guy who proposes that you blow up the thing if you're uh, a female at level two you can do a perk called um black widow which gives you special um dialogue options against men mr burke is the name of the guy who um, proposes that you do it. You can double your money just by being a woman talking to him with that perk. Which is hilarious. Super, super funny. Um, let's see. If I ever play through Fallout 3 again, I'll let them live. <laughs> I always let them live first, but here's the thing. Here's the difference. If you let them live, you do you do get a home in Megaton. If you kill them, you get this nice, sweet and ten penny tower. The home they give you is a fucking shitty shack. It's real, real poor. You live real poor versus in this nice, beautiful tower with a balcony and everything. Um, you do keep a little bit of a moral standpoint there. Uh, the other thing is, is if you quick travel to Megaton, it's like you just hop, skip, and walk, and you're into your home. If you go to Ten Penny Tower, you start outside, you gotta go in, then you gotta go up the elevator, walk around the corner to your room. So it's just a little extra couple steps you gotta take every time to live in your nice, fancy tower. But worth it if you like it. If you like how it looks. Run, run, run. I think the fuse box over here. You asked for a hint. I gave you a hint. I'm salty. Why are you salty? All right, we got to tape you up. This machine is remotely controlled and may start without warning. Well, what the fudge? Hmm. If you ever play through... Oh, wait. No, I already read that. You made 10 penny tower, cool tower. I don't know if I ever did that. I don't know if I ever actually went through with that. Sometimes I like to save before I do those missions, do the missions, and then just see the opposite results. 
It's kind of fun. Oh my god, you could take those clues this whole time. Your Twitch transaction blocked your account for your sub? What? You can do that. Actually, I think Lady Ram told me that happened to her. It blocked her as spam. Which is super sad and angering. Also, like, a little bit funny. Now, so, Cheeky Monkey, you might be giving me... There are other clues here. There's these clues. You might be talking about. Never do Jamaican again. I have to abide by the rules of people using their points. You you it's all I can do. I wonder what happens in the series. Guess we'll find out. We'll find out. It's still a nice fancy tower. It is a nice fancy tower. And if you don't kill all the ghouls, you kind of do feel pretty safe there. I mean, you've got armed to the teeth security. And we discovered Mr. Tenpenny himself, who also shares the balcony with you up top, sometimes just stands on the end of it with a sniper rifle and just shoots at any living thing he can see. Which is super funny. Also a little bit fucked up. Um, which fallout did you get to send ghouls to space? New Vegas? Send ghouls to space? I don't remember. Mothership Zeta was a DLC in Fallout 3. But I think the aliens kind of come in in some extent in every game, but I don't know how much. Yeah, obviously in 3 in that DLC, it's like all about the aliens, which is crazy. I only ever did it once. I want to go back and do the DLC sometime. Find a clue with the number seven. Honestly, just knowing one number, I can figure it out. Oh, actually, I was going to say, I probably could figure it out pretty quick, but I can't because there's 26 numbers on a dial. I don't know, I'm just wandering around looking at random shit, trying to find a code. That doesn't make sense why it would be here instead of over there. There's a diamond here. But I done been here before and there. I don't I don't done see no numbers. That's a diamond door. A dime a dozen, they say. All right, so fuck. I'm disgusted that there's dogs everywhere. All right, we're just going to be a good pup. Oh, oh. I've been this way in a while. Watch over here. Well, here's where we got the shit gun. Don't see no numbers. Triangle. Oh, you're saying triangle because that was a diamond? Well, look, here's the thing is there are three green triangles over there that I cannot reach because I need to fix the garden elevator. Because you can see the yellow scribblies um, at the bottom uh, of both entrances and the top over there. That means they shut off the boat entrances to getting in here and the tunnel entrance. So I cannot get into this area in either way, meaning that I have to come in through that elevator, which wasn't working before. And I think it's because it's this one in the garden, which I can't turn on. Or can I? Oh my god, he's just floating on the boat over there, dead, staring at me. Hello. I 
I didn't see a way in which I can turn on the generator. I I looked all over. I tried up and down. I've got some kind of pump switch thing and a battery, which I would think maybe those two things would be... what I'm looking for, but... at the same time, I'm clearly... have not gotten in. Be right back. All right, Smelly Monkey, I got you. No pain in your Pokemon Master. Have you caught them all? Is that the last one? Red Triangle Door. There's so many. There's so many, and they're all unmarked now. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I love these. I love these puppets. They're so funny. But at the same time, I'm noxious. L7? Level 7? R dash L dash roll. This is how we roll. Oh, low, oh, low, oh, oh, low. Oh, oh, oh. Um, no, <laughs> I don't. One, two, three Avenue. Is it one, two, three? All right, wasting bullets. Left seven, right, left something. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I know what you're saying. But, uh... I think if I could just figure out how this generator works. Or like, has it been working this whole time and I just need to flip it to the right side? Because there's no like startup sound. Mm, yes, yes, no startup. And what the fudge are you for? A worn battery. Thank you. A metal piece for a tonkard or boiler I don't get it because there's nothing to interact with besides this and there's no light on it it's clearly semi working because there's a splitter here which goes for the lights And looks like it's sending the current to the right, no matter what. The answer is on a poster, not a pickup clue. But what poster? I don't use my phone. Funky, I don't have it. I don't know how to run a genie so you okay <laughs> I like your genie joke one click away with the power of power Oh, you have to. <laughs> I see. I see. I already found the reel. That's why I'm looking around. You said it's a poster, but it's a movie reel. You said you. <laughs> You're sending me the wrong directions. 
So there's a movie reel that we picked up and we played in the theater, but I didn't stand around to watch it at all. I already found the reel and put it in, is the funny thing, monkey. I just didn't watch it. Partially, but I've watched, okay, I watched the other two movies last time, and they had absolutely nothing on them. So it didn't seem like there was a point to it. It seemed like they, when you had all four would line up for something, it didn't seem like an individual one was going to give you a random clue. You know what I mean? I probably should go upstairs so I can play the correct one. It wasn't this movie theater. I should just say, uh, hearing these guys' voices, I'm glad that Lady Ram didn't make me do, uh, like, Kermit the Frog or Puppet Voice or something. Maybe I'll watch it through. See if it says anything. If it shows anything. Nope, because this is a little bit painful to watch, to be honest. Oh, he's here to watch. He's enjoying this movie of his fallen brother in or something. Is she depressed? happening here? What is going on? Uh, Cheeky Monkey, thinking again about it, it says near the fuse box room, which again means you're not listening because I told you multiple times I can't get to that area because it's over there and I can't get to this area. So that means you didn't listen to me. Um, there, fuse box room is the red room. So... I'm not meant to open it yet, I don't think. I don't think. I will not. I will not read that. I'm going to be difficult here. Be difficult, brother. You guys ever notice his fingers are salt and pepper shakers? Hey, it's gonna be alright there. Hey? Any shoulder to cry on? 
You're gonna have to find someone else's. Life can get you down sometimes, huh? <laughs> Wait, are we having a hard time? I heart? saw a movie as a kid. But this thing? There's this scene of a man riding into this big blazing sunset, and I remember when it came up, it just caught me. I don't know if it was the plot or the music or what, but my heart just suddenly leapt, like, like I had just heard an old friend calling my name. And I sort of forgot myself and turned around, thinking someone was behind me. But all I saw was a little star of light coming from the projection booth. No one else turned around. They all were just focused on the screen. But it felt so real. So solid. <laughs> Never knew what to make of that. What is going on here? Eventually, I forgot about it. I guess during the war, I got distracted. But it just came back to me now. Goblet here's been trying to eat me the whole game. And now we're chilling, having a convo. You know, like, give me something or something at least. Like, what are we doing here? We're not friends. And the award for best. All right, we're friends. Best Ram goes to me, Black Ram. That was an interesting little tid. Dillion bit, but um, it doesn't give me jack shit over here. All right, exactly how I feel, little green buddy. Later, I see you. Stop saying that you're obsessed. Stop saying what Black Ram is the best. It's the truth, though. Nothing obsessive about that. Technically, still something in here, but don't know what. I could. I could. I haven't tried the masks. I could try bringing the masks over. Hooking them up. Maybe that'll unlock a door. Maybe. At this point, we're willing to uh, try everything. Uh, Monkey, you do attach the masks early on, but then it appears that there's another place for them. I've been staring at you in the face. Oh my god. Look at this guy. Coming out with the jokes. He got jokes. There should be what another a fifth mask, which is maybe part of the problem. And don't particularly remember 
how the masks went. Maybe there was a note. Oops. Does not appear like it. This game's a bit of a pain in the ass, huh? There must be a fifth mask unless you just put them in the right order. I don't remember who was whose. Okay, so <clears throat> I looked it up because I'm getting frustrated, and it says you need to use the battery on the elevator. Luckily for me, I've had the battery. I've been at the elevator. There's nowhere to put it. I'm getting pissed off <laughs> because I've known the solution then for the last hour and a half, and it just, there's no solution that I'm seeing. Oh my god, fuck me. I fucking hate this game. I only switched to the other side because of the thing, but you know what, no, whatever. Hi, yeah. Getting real mad. Getting real mad. So much so. I now have to do this. Just kidding, I'm back. Just kidding, I'm back. It was out of focus. I had to fix it. <laughs> friendly, friendly, friendly. I fixed it. I fixed it, Mr. Monkey. Oh, my God. There we go. The solutions are all so simple. It's easy once you know how. Maybe I'll find the code now to the safe. Hard to say. Hard to say there, brother.
The City Tribune, Sunday, March 16th, 1980. Business news bites. The city has seen a recent economic downturn as a new wave of corporations has emerged. Characterized by aggressive policies that place profits before the well-being of consumers, one such corporation, uh, Nebu Zaradan Enterprises, has been acquiring real estate at a rapid pace, in many cases evicting the current tenants as part of a program to reshape the city into a community more conductive to its business practices. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs, said Ronald Rickbacher, CEO of Nebu Zaradan, in a recent interview. Well, it may be painful for some. We are helping to create a city that can withstand the future. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Uh, first of all, smelly monkey. I know all the shapes. I know all of them. Even the quadrahedron. All right. Do you know what that shape is? Didn't think so. Levon Rue, welcome in. How are you doing today? Good to see you. Oh, I didn't prepare a new dad joke. We uh, we do not have one laying around. Um, hmm. All right. Let's see what I got in the old bag of Rooney here. Um. What kind of uh, a bagel can fly? A plain bagel. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You like that? I know you do. You don't got to say anything about it. That's a funny joke. That's one we love to hear. All right. Oh, okay. I was like, I saw something, a little notification. We had to check it out. We had to check it out. <clears throat> yeah, it didn't really have a lot of time today. Very, very limited time. So uh, we didn't, we didn't update anything. So I don't know if the riddle's new or not. I don't know. I don't think anyone actually solved the riddle, but that's okay. Um, oh, no. It's not, oh no, it's funny. It's funny, Lady Ram. You laugh. And everything bagel. Oh my God. A yardstick? I don't know. I don't know. It's okay? No, it's better than okay. I think that's the right answer. I think that's the right answer. I kind of forgot, to be honest. I think that we went like three or four days last week without anyone doing a riddle. So <laughs> it's been a while since I looked at the answer. I think that's right. I'm sure it is. Joke is basically pi uh, child's play. Oh, why don't you... Um why don't you enlighten us with the, your best joke? Give us the best one you got. We're all friendly here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fartsicles. No, I meant it's okay. You didn't get a chance to change it. I thought, yeah, I thought that's what you meant. I thought that's what you were saying. All right, so we got to figure out the order here. But thank you. Thank you. I bet I'm your best joke in the stream. D damn, self-burn. <laughs> Wouldn't make a joke for you, but you're too soft, so I won't screw you over with a hard joke. Still nail it. Damn it. Crazy. Oops. Oh, wait. I have not been paying attention. Well, I think I have the heart there, right? Yeah.
I'm honestly doing this so fast. I'm I'm getting lost on which ones I've actually done. Like, what did I just do there? Did I do clubbed or did I do spade? Ah, uh, help. All right, what the fuck is the clue for this one? Because there was never a clue for this one. Keep that pun away from the bonfire because the joke's on fire. <sighs> well, thank you. Thank you for letting him know. So for sure did heart and diamond just now, right? Man. I'm like confusing myself. On this whole process of elimination challenge. This is too much. This is too much. Um, hold on, hold on. Is the mechanic was sleeping? He's tired. <laughs> okay. Okay. What do you call these things? If not plugs. Fuse. Oh, okay. That's great. Person's like, there's no, there's no answer, but there is a way. There is a way through it.
Mm-hmm. One out of two rams agree. One out of two rams agree every time. All right. Come on now. Wait, what? Oh, so there's different... Okay. So there's a different fuse entirely. We can't even do this now. Never mind. Fuck it. We're out. Okay. I'm like... I think we could probably just figure this out by doing random things, but that's not how this works. Oh, I didn't even see that before, but I got you, smelly monkey. Don't send a monkey to do a ram's job. Public heal. Let's go. Let's go. Got you. That was actually pretty funny. <laughs> what, do you do when you what did you do to delete yourself out of the stream? Let's not find out. <laughs> How about it? Going into Ray's lair. Hey, hey, that's not going to fix it. Bang, bang. He's going to shut him down, baby. Lovely trash, lovely trash. You know what goes good with every room full of trash? Water. What do you want? Fix. Yeah, I fixed it. Ow. Fix. I, I, I just, look, when, when you've got a problem, you can't just clam up and start hitting everything with a wrench. That won't fix it. I actually beg the dipper. I think you can. Look at that, far less garbage. And he's far less pissed. All right, bye, brother. So all the big monsters seem to be okay at some point if you uh, help them out in some way. Hashtag good ending. Got ourselves a rubber ducky there. Um, so we've helped him. We've helped, you know, the big man. We're going to eventually feed the dogs. Thought you were saying no paints joke shouldn't be allowed. I, I was not paying attention. But he was talking about his own joke. I knew that. I can read context clues. Oh, shit. Shit, didn't mean to do that, but we did. I was trying to, trying to pipe wrench him. Um... Farts. Okay.
Look at that, and we're done with this. Discard. All right, now we can get to the theater. Finally finish the theater. We also have the thing we need to get the gunk done. For dogs, you can bring squirrels. Oh, I was hoping I could stun locker. You've never heard music before? <laughs> You're the one across the line besides Merc. Um, you remember what you did? What'd you do? What did you do? All right. I assume this isn't going to get me the dog food, so I'm going to have to come all the way back here with the dog food at some point, but that's okay. It's all part of the process there. What you doing in my waters? Cheers and you. That's what I'm doing. What's up, Merc? Alright, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There's a very specific set of instructions here. Alright. Red for one to two seconds. Green for one to two seconds. So red and green. Christmas one to two. Blue three to four. Green two to three. Alright, so. Oh. Red, green, blue, green. Okay. That didn't sound good. Should check the directions. Okay, so each gulp must be the second. Got her there. Rude as fuck. It's rude as fuck. Welcome in, Big Chung. It's good to see you. Merc, how is the homework going? What you doing in my waters? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, brother. Cheers. All right, so we got the things. We got the water. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, let's just try it again. Try for the low end. Oh, is it green? Did I do red? Was it supposed to be green? That was my mistake. My error. I honestly can't tell the difference. Same color to me. Need a little help here, all right? Everyone out here making fun of the colorblind guy. Oh yeah, he mixes up red and green when all he sees is gray. Let's laugh at that guy, okay? I see how it is. Whatever, <laughs> <laughs> appreciate you. Appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate you popping in here, Big Chungus. Appreciate you, good sir. You have a uh, good night doing what you're doing. Hanging out. You're not colorblind? Look, color illiterate. What's the difference? I just want to get these motherfuckers their food so they get the fuck off me. Sorry for cussing. Family show. That literally says... I thought it was 69. I thought it was. It was close. It's the aviary. We're here with the birds. 
Not a prey, just the birds. Oh, thank you, power pack. What do we got here? What is a second toolbox? As I live and breathe. good to me where are we going now uh you found out your nephew's colorblind he said look at the cool green color but it was your ev brown controller <laughs> that's silly no one has tool <laughs> two toolboxes well you just met the first you just met the first so uh take it back maybe maybe He's not colorblind, but maybe he just thinks green is brown and brown is green. Holy fucking stash. We need to get in there. Piranto. Hey, Tasha. Tasha gets it. Tasha knows what we're talking about here. Fuck, no power. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We figured out how this whole thing works. Wurmple in the chat. Wurmple. For anyone who likes things that rhyme with uh, purples. Oh, it opened up that gate. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so we're going to have to go. We have to go check out this back area. Thing is, first things first, we got to do the movie theater we got to finish the movie theater area we got to know what is out there what is happening give it to this bird bird of prey some people say not me though in fact they call me the eagle in the sky when birds are flying around they look out for me sitting there on the ground eating leftover hot dogs got to keep an eye out for flying rams Dangerous, dangerous out there, they say. For little birds. Warm pull. Shiny is purple. Is it because it's so warm? Warm pull. Look at that. We got ourselves that dog chow. Happy dogs. Happy dog, happy life. You know what I'm saying? No, me neither. Me neither. <laughs> but I think if we get them the chow, they'll leave us the fuck alone. I don't know. I believe <laughs> what you say when rams fly. They do. <clears throat> <clears throat> they do fly. You've never seen it. We don't want to go in there yet. We don't want to go in there yet, but we're going to go in there soon. Damn, that bag of food takes up my entire inventory. Let's go get rid of that first. Then we'll get rid of the movie tape. Then we'll <laughs> move on. Uh, so much to do, so little time. Probably gonna go a little bit later, a little bit longer, since we spent all that time stuck on that one area because, you know, things. And then, um, let's see if we can't beat this fucking game tonight. I don't know how close I am to the end. I feel like I'm not that close, but I also feel like I made super good progress. I, I don't know. Like, how long can it be? I literally watched somebody. 
on YouTube. I didn't watch them, but I should say I saw a video that said uh, full playthrough. And it was like two and a half hours. Could have been a live stream like mine where they say it's full playthrough, but they didn't say part one. Part one of six. Your father flies gladders for fun. I'm glad he does. I'm gladder. I'm gladder than he is. <laughs> Some say. Damn. Fucking Porky Pig over here putting See, down that food in two bites. So now we're friends. I'm becoming friends with them all. The goodest boy. The best of them all, they say. Gordon, help the dogs. He's their best friend now. That's what I'm talking about. Brother. On Saturday, he told us um, he was going flying on Sunday. I said, you mean you're falling with style on Sunday? He walks in and I said, hey, bus. That, that's pretty fucking funny, though. <laughs> to have that call back ready, <laughs> ready and waiting is amazing. Respectable. Respectable joke. <laughs> you mean you're uh, falling with style? <laughs> I don't know anybody who glides. <laughs> never never seen it. Um, <laughs> you hear that guy laughing over there? Um, never, never had a chance to make that joke. I'm glad you got the chance, though. Can't think of anyone more deserving. Someone give him a trophy. Make him a trophy. Funniest. On cue joke from a movie. I'll make you a trophy. I once made a, a glove out of glue. That's right. Pure glue. Pure glue. Um, and I can give that to you as a trophy. We call it the glovey. Um, basically, there was a factory. I worked at the chocolate factory, and there was a machine. You know, you'd put the box of chocolates in, and it would put it in like a shipping box, a cardboard box, and it just automatically would glue it shut uh, as it went through. And you had to dump all these little glue pellets in that would melt together. And then one time, I blew up like a latex glove you had to use when handling the food, so people aren't just handing it and uh, tied it off and then just kept dipping it into the hot glue <laughs> slowly over time forming an entire hand made purely of glue i called it uh glue midas's hand <laughs> instead of king midas glue midas get it uh whatever it's okay it's a funny joke and if you don't get it that's right we all have our days oh there's the portrait Seven, twelve, four. That's a great idea. I swear it kind of looks like something's down in there, but it isn't. Seven, twelve, four. Figured it out on my own. Hey yo, I'm Norman. I'm a really normal guy. I just kinda show up to be a friend. Um let's go. You guys ready for this? Are y'all ready for this? Laura Nato, welcome back. Good to see you. How was your Monday? How was your Monday off? I see you're not streaming. What are you doing? You correcting papers or something? You ensuring the education of our nation's future? How are they doing? Are, are we looking good? Never left. You just been vibing with Valo? Valorant? Are you talking about Overwatch? 
Isn't that the Overwatch DLC? Oh my god, we got the plugs. We got the plugs. We're in, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of backtracking here. A lot of going back and forth. Valorant, yeah, yeah, that's one of the Overwatch characters. His name is Valorant, right? Look, here's the thing. All right? I can't tell the difference. They're all the same game to me. I'm surprised you're not up there chilling with Hoof-O-Phobia. Although I saw you were playing it. But tomorrow, right? You're going to be playing some hoof of phobia tomorrow? Sometimes we would swap our arms. Then we would swap Without our me? Legs. It's all right. I'm only going to take it personally. It's okay. It's okay. I wanted to be sad. I wanted to be sad. Doesn't matter. I hope you have fun with all your other friends. I'll just be here by myself. All alone. I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. My troubles have all gone. <laughs> There's no one to derive me. But you gotta have friends. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie. You know what I'm talking about. You get it. That's what I'm talking about. Oh dear, you're missing out. Oh my god. How many times are we gonna make the oh dear joke? I swear I swear if I don't hear it at least ten more times, I'm gonna be mad. I need to hear it ten more times. <laughs> be there, we can be alone together. I don't think that's how that works. Also, what the fuck was that in the game? Thank you for uh, hitting me up with that lurk squad, though. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Auntie. How's your weekend? How's your Sunday, Monday, Saturday? Also Friday. Ramming up. What are we ramming? Are we going to do it enough times? That's the real question. I'd say our way through this game. Wait. Spade star, diamond heart, spade star, diamond heart, spade star, diamond heart, spade. Star. Oh, that's not spade. Spade star, diamond heart. Let's go! Hey, if it is that thing. What is this door? Where does this take us? I'm hoping down to Silent Hill. Where the fuck am I? Oh, yeah. This is more like it. I could use a vacation. This does not feel like a vacation here, Franco. These pirates really taking a beating. Hey, Lordy, that's pretty fucking wild. Lordy Lou. Can 
Nice. We can walk in the water. We just can't walk out of the water. There we go. There we go. Anchors away. All right. We got a big, we got a big old thing of uh, treasure over here. Over. You've got to be absolutely. Farting me, which is the worst I was going to say. Well, thank God we don't got to figure out the order here. Monkey, you have a good day at work. Appreciate you as always. Hey, hopefully you're feeling better soon. And, uh... We'll see you either later, if you get a chance, or we'll see you on tomorrow. I'll give you another opportunity to uh, choose if you want to punish Lady Ram. We're going to do a choose who you punish. If we get to these certain levels, we'll allow you guys... To vote on who it goes to if we if it's a level based thing and there's a group effort to get there or you know if you just do some biddies or subs or whatever you can choose as an individual who does said punishment so don't miss don't miss out oh <laughs> oh yeah All right, we're going to have to come back for this. But come back for it, we will. <laughs> we got ourselves a big old fucking gun. A BFG, if you will. Pancham in the chat, just in case anyone's trying to become a Pokemon Manster. Hey, if any of you have been out there, make sure you hit that follow button. Join the Ram Fam. Get in here. Crazy shit happening all the time. You don't want to miss out. Oh, I was like, if I have a fucking um, chocolate bar, I'm devouring that. This is just like a little overwatch to take a look around or like is there actual purpose to being up here besides just observing because the observation feels almost worthless. There's two pirates down there. It's a very small area to look through. You figure out what you're doing pretty quick. Uh, now, I am scared that if I come back, these pirates that did take one heck of a licking um, are going to be a problem. Although we do have a door up here. Where's that going to lead to? We should do a joint stream for each reward. We can split it and have hundreds of beans and two different types of sour balls with a little nitro if we get there. Hey, that could be fun. That could be fun. Although I don't smoke, uh, I don't smoke the Jane, so no joints for me. All you, brother. All you. I don't feel bad about that joke. Not even a little. <laughs> How would you do this? I just don't know if this is a room I've been in before or not. If I've been in this room before, what the fuck was the point of that? It's not a quick way out. I hate this game sometimes.
Thank you, Taja. It was a great joke. Can't listen to people like Lady Ram. Who I was trying to put us down. All right, that was that was rude. That was rude. Yeah, you're only getting high on aspirin. That aspirin, it'll take you places. Locked from the other side. Where the fuck was I? Questioning, questioning things. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I have that guy tied down. Um, AKA Kinky Much. Uh, thank you, Lady Ram, for laughing at that joke. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Um, I need some space around here. Three, four, eight spaces right here, allegedly. So I'm thinking maybe I move my ammo types right here. That should give me the eight right up here. Let's try it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. You're laughing at the poo? Don't laugh at the poo. Hey. I didn't get to see you through that, but whoever threw that, just so you know, you're on notice. All right? Big, big mistake there. Mysterious person. Once you start throwing poop around here, you start a war. All right? You better be prepared to uh, finish the battle. It was BK. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if it was Burger King or McDonald's. They're all on notice. Although I do like chicken fries. Okay, come on now. You gotta be careful. You are nearing on the edge of a war. A war that I hope you think you can win. All right. Your question, what, uh, that you're a real boy questions your life. Uh, what are you questioning? What are you talking about? Good story always starts with, I threw shit at Ram. No, it doesn't. You're all on notice. Now that was me. I knew that was you. I could tell from the smell. Couldn't miss that smell. <laughs> Anyone could smell that from anywhere. I'm saying couldn't miss the two points but didn't no pain but didn't how the fuck did I get here So I missed something there. I'm not exactly like hyped to go get that. I know what I'm missing in eight. Don't know what I'm missing there. I know what I'm missing there. Don't know how to do it though. I think I might be at the end game. I think this goo might be taking me to the end. The end of, the end of my friend 
Oh, and that's his, uh, that's his room. Okay. Don't lie to the public. The public knows the truth because I tell them only the welcome, truth. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Jesus Christ. He pushed me. He pushed me out of the room. That son of a bitch. Welcome, no. Welcome. no one does that to me. How the fuck did I get back into the pirate cove? Where did I come from? How did I get there? Where did I go, Cotton Eye Joe? I'm so confused because it was also like not on the map. I literally don't know where I was, how I got there. Can we can we rewind the stream? I swear I thought it was this way. This guy's killing me. This guy's killing me. How? What? I'll pick you up in my mouth and give it a good swallow. Then hop on all fours and away the taxi goes. Boom, 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 boom. But, oh, I love to ferry as many people around as I can. Just so I'll swallow four and four and four until I feel like I'm going to burst. Then, when the day is long and nearly exhausted, it's time to go home. One by one, but boy, I spit my passengers back where I found them. Myself home. The life of a taxi cab is a wonderful thing. Don't squander it. Oh, was it? Was it down in the basement? Oh my god. It's down in the basement. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. It's a spy! Welcome back. How are you doing? Balls. Need help? <laughs> you know, like the bouncing kind. Uh, I figured it out. I was trying to figure out how to get back down to the pirate cove. I don't didn't remember how I got out of there or how I got in there, I should say. Um, so now we're just making our way back, which was this way. But thank you. I think we should be all right. Because I had to leave the weapon there, and then I went exploring, which was bad. Now I'm confused. I'm trying to remember what all I was missing. So I have to go through that room anyway. I'll check it out. I can check out the lower waterway again. See what was in those two. That one, don't know the puzzle. And I'm sure I'll find it out. All right, so the two in the lower waterways, we can we can check. I'm sure we can find what we're missing down there quick. Choose that, buddy. No pain. Awesome story start? What awesome story start? Uh, I just don't think I found the clues for it yet. Uh, it's a spy, but it's... Um... I don't know how to describe it really. <laughs> I really. I really don't know how to describe it. Some symbol thing was next to a safe. Oh my god, I just didn't look down here. How about that? That's it, right? Yeah, knew it. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, um... And through here to get to the lower stuff. Oh, shit show. I see. I got you. I got you. BK started. 
I don't know. That could be it. That could be it. It's a spy. Um, I haven't seen any clues or anything for it yet, so we're just ignoring it for now. Good luck. Thank you. I'm imbued with the luck of the good. There we are. Right on, matey. Let's get on out of here. Trust me, you'll need it. I've managed to solve everything else so far. The only thing that was frustrating was figuring out how to put in the batteries <laughs> into the switches. I did figure that out eventually. On my own. For anyone who argues that, I did look at a guide, but it didn't tell me what to do. Well, it told me what to do. It didn't tell me how to do it, I should say. Yes. No spoilers, but if I do need hints, I'll ask. A lot of times, it's easier just for me to stop and look. Because I know exactly where I'm at and what I've been doing. And everyone else has kind of probably been either joined late or dropped out for a little bit or something. It's a little bit harder for everyone else to tell quite where I've been or where I haven't. This will bring them to a full stop. Press LB and RB. Oh, oh my god. So. <laughs> this is insane. I'm assuming it's a one time use. Saving it for the final boss battle. Maybe the way we took out was easier. Nah, 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 we'll just do it the way we did it. You need a guide for that one, so don't feel bad to look at one. Well, I'd say hopefully they have some kind of a clue to figure it out um, in here, but maybe not. I mean, so far everything's been obvious once we've gotten... Once you've gotten to a point where uh, we could find the clue. Um, yeah, I don't know. Some games some games do put in things that are impossible and don't even realize that they are. That's frustrating. Sheninja in the chat? Sheninja, anyone? But, turns out, you have to be a Pokemon Master to catch it. If you're not a Pokemon Master, it might escape. Shots fired there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so only two things missing. I, I assume, I assume we'll get some more clues to figure your mute. Oh, going the wrong way. One is we're going to need another battery, and clearly there's not one just sitting around, unless it's in that uh, shoehorn thing. How many Legans and Shinies do you have? I think I have one Shiny and probably zero Legans. I don't know if I've seen any. I don't know if I even have a second starter, to be honest. Because I know from seeing the statues up top, we have four masks. There's got to be five somewhere. So since considering we have not found the fifth mask, I assume that uh, we'll find it laying around here somewhere. I just would like to know what I'm missing in this room. And I don't know if it's like the limitless snack bars 
or what? So much I want to say, but nothing I can say. Yeah, I uh, I appreciate you. Appreciate you um, holding holding back and not saying much. Sometimes it's really tempting. I guess I never looked in here, you know? Hmm. There's all those keys and stuff back there. I mean, maybe maybe we'll get something in a bit. Finally. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. Oh, bananas. So we are at the end. Um, I'm going to save and whatnot first. I, I So I'm assuming, I'm assuming based on what's left that... Uh, the devil pod thing you're talking about has either the battery pack in it or the fifth mask. I don't know which. If we beat the game, this is the deal. If we beat the game, um, And we don't figure those things out. We can always load up back here and do it again. And that's fine. Can I give you a hint? Um... Also add Tyne. What does that mean? Um, well, I assume this elevator's end game because we've saved. Well, we helped the bird kind of. We got the bird its glasses, but I don't know if we like befriended it. There might have been more to the bird, to be honest. Uh, although the bird wasn't like truly aggressive. Um, for all I know, it's out here or something. I don't know. I'm not too. I don't think I'm too worried about it at the moment. I mean, if you want to drop a hint, I'll allow a hint. I'll allow a hint. Um, but I'm going to be right back, everybody. And uh, I'm going to fill this up, get a drink. Um, if this hint can help us do some more things before we end out, um, we'll do that. And then I believe this elevator must be towards the end. Hard to say hundred percent. Don't tell me if it is, but it feels like it is. And he's saying like, Oh, finally and all that. It's kind of just little keys in the story to it. Um, so we'll try to do as much as we can before beating this, but we're going to beat it tonight. All right. BRB. <laughs> It's the first time I've gotten this. Joss is fucking I got my head out the sunroof. Oh, it is a blue. I'm blasting my favorite tunes. I only got one thing on my mind. Send them to the slaughterhouse. How could you ever get this done within the time limit with this thing constantly stalking you? Oh my god, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. We can do this. No! Fuck you! Fuck you! 
Willie. It was right there. All five boxes. <laughs> Clearings are good. Clearings are good. Oh, funeral. Okay, I've never... Maybe I have heard it called that. I guess I've never been to one that was called that. <sighs> I hate this game. Oh, if I could just break something. Since we're going back to uh, things about American Americans. Oh, my Jesus Did I match? Did I do the face? Did I get I did I get the thing? Against, oh my Jesus. Working on our memory charms. When Cho Chang yeah. let out the most vile uh ear piercing scream of her life. We all turned. Oh, there was you. an anomaly seeping out of her nethers. Nethers? <laughs> Suddenly. <laughs> Cho Chang's yeast infection came alive oh! and became the biggest type of tr <laughs> that ever existed. Harry Potter <laughs> waltzed in front of the class, jumped in front of everybody, pulled out his wand, and exclaimed, Yeastium Explodium. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, <laughs> pe pellets of crusty dough substance smeared the walls. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> the end. The end. <laughs> the end. What a book. That did it for me, so. Dory, age seven. <clears throat> Dory used to be happy with daddy and mommy, who also seems to have a little dinger down here, but doesn't wear pants. Unless it's not mommy. Is this mommy? Who the fuck is that and why is he naked? Uh, Tree of Doom, possible caped evil villain here. Um, daddy yelling at mom, mom laughing at daddy. Dory not very happy about it. Dory kicked out of circus. Evil circus, no good. Dory gets scissors. <laughs> evil circus, no good. Uh, welcome back. Thank you, Lady Ram. It's a spy um, playing some. Who's that Pokemon with us? <clears throat> All right, all right, it's a spy. I'm ready. What's what's the hint? What are we what are we doing here? What's the action? Um You know, honestly, it says the stairs are on this and it's what I have not been checking, so maybe there's something hidden on the stairs here. Incorrect. Incorrect to the highest degree. My decisions and detective skills have dishonored, dishonored us all. There's just nothing here, simply put, nothing here. So this thing has either the mask or the battery pack or both. I like that he's a statue. I'm back. Where were you? Yeah, yep, yeah, I'm ready. Give me a hint. Lay it on me. Yeah, there's this thing, the world weeber. Literally <laughs> not seen anything about this the whole time. Kind of, no, not really. Gun? This literally has a book clamp to it underneath.
MFN. Gun decipher that. That kind of looks like an N. That kind of looks like an F. Is there something that kind of looks like an M? M. F. N. No. M. F. N. No. M. F. N. No. <laughs> Am I on the right track? Refer to the last statement. Just tell me when you want to add a word to the end. All right, add a word. All right, add a word. I'll take it. I wanted these a gun. This kind of looks like a pew. That could be some sort of ice pick, also used for lobotomizing. Gun room. There's several of those. Remember where we found the pistol. I don't remember where you found the shotgun. Oh, and I remember where we found the minigun. Wrong way. Bye. <laughs> Jonesy, hey -o. how are you doing? Welcome in. I hope you're having a great, uh... uh, must be Tuesday, your time. Hopefully you had a great Monday, Tuesday. How's your weekend? Oh my god, forget you. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking pigs, dude. Oh man, that's gonna hurt. I tell you. I tell you. Hand puppets are the worst. Didn't you steal the pistol from a puppet? I did not. And the fact that you would say that, a little disturbing. Not bad. What about you? How are you doing? I'm doing good. Doing good. Very good. Um, uh, I think we're almost at the end of this game here, Jonesy. So we're doing pretty good. Um, just trying to figure out a few less hints, a few less clues. And then maybe we'll 100% it even. Hard to say, but we'll see what we can do. You had a great Monday, man. I had a great weekend. Your Tuesday. It's been great so far, even though it's... <laughs> yeah, you haven't even been to bed yet. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> hey, that's the guy that left. Well, I'm glad you had a great weekend. Yeah, I was relaxing, chilling. We watched the Fallout show, and the uh, Fallout show, pretty amazing. Don't know if you've seen it yet. Can't recommend it enough. It's a spy. Are we on the right track here or what? Are we in the wrong room? It's not going to be like these things. Mo, yes. I don't know what that means. 
Just thought I'd pop into your stream for a chat and uh, might consider going to bed. Yeah, I don't blame you. What time is it there? Is it 4 a.m.? Or is it 5 a.m.? Either way, holy, <laughs> holy cats, man. Sorry, pocket type. <laughs> no, you're all good. The Mystic Maze. <laughs> the puppet. The puppet wish song. But by the way, being that it is so late, whatever time it is, I really do appreciate you stopping in. Um, so cheers. Cheers. I hope you get a good night's sleep. Despite the sun probably coming up pretty soon. It's nearly 10 past 4 in the morning. Oh, boy. <laughs> Look, the night, the night escapes you sometimes. I know on the weekends when I don't have to get up in the morning, I, on occasion, end up staying up pretty late. <laughs> No, I didn't recognize those, or I didn't memorize those symbols, but I know them, I feel like, pretty well. And I'm not seeing them anywhere. You're, you're up most nights like this? Hey, that's all right. That's all right. I Honestly, like, if I didn't have uh, a job with what they call banker's hours, which is um, up super early in the morning, throughout most of the day, off early in the afternoon, you know, you'll... Uh, nine to five sort of type schedule. Uh, I I would be up pretty late like that, pretty mo pretty often too. Hmm. All right, I spy exclamation point hit. <laughs> saying it without saying it. I guess I'm just kind of a night person. Hey, I think most people are. I think most people are uh, naturally, which is kind of the opposite of what, you know, our ancestors would have been. Um, but it's funny. I think it's technology. Technology has really warped a lot of us into night people. Screens. Want one more word? I'll take one more word, please. No momento. Uh, I could do a 24-hour stream easy. Oh, I could not do that easy. <laughs> I could not do that. Props to you for that. Um, I feel like even when I do do my long streams, I'm getting so uh, tired and not as chatty, not as entertaining as it goes on um, by like, you know, I could do probably five, six hours easy. I might be pushing it. I don't know for sure. I think we do four to five hours is like a lot of times as far as we go. I've done ten and a half hours. I think we stayed pretty entertaining most of the time, but I was really fighting the sleeps because that was after a full day of work. That one was rough. Shotgun room. You... allowed me to go to the wrong room. <laughs> I just don't remember where the shotgun room even is. But I too appreciate actually you keeping the hints pretty subtle. It is just now a long look sees around. I don't remember if it was the offices or the bay. I think it's down here. Just can't do it due to medical issues. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that that's fair. That's fair. Sorry to hear. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. No, no, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty, that's pretty common. And honestly, you don't want uh, you don't want that kicking up on stream. That would be uh, rough. So I don't blame you. I do not blame you. So is it like if you stay up too late, it could kick in for you, or what kind of activates it for you? It's kicked off on your streams before? Oh, no. 
Is it, uh, oh, there's the answer. Is it pretty, pretty bad? Multiple things to kick it off, to be honest. Oh, and it's not like one that you can do the, some medication for to keep it back. Got another friend who's, um, got that. Definitely sounds challenging. It sounds rough. I don't know how you guys do it. Props to you um, for still streaming and pushing through. Is there a, like, I'm assuming then there's some games that you can't really play either. Honestly, I'm taking a picture of this because I'm not coming all the way back. Thank you very much, I Spy, with my little eye. I gave up wondering how to not kick it off. Yeah, I, I get that. If you tried the kitchen sink and nothing works, you kind of just deal with it. Lots of people drink G Fuel that don't work out. Whoa, whoa, whoa! G Fuel ad. We're getting a G Fuel ad in here? They don't even sponsor us. We can't allow this. We can't allow this. Um... Because so many things kick it off that you've uh, lost count. Oh, geez. That would be, for me, really frustrating. You do take medication and everything, and it, it doesn't matter. Man. Yeah, I'd, I'd be getting really frustrated. be like, what the fuck do I got to do? And the thing is, is like, you could see a bunch of doctors. And I feel like doctors, most of the time, just give you their best guess. Yeah, like, uh, I don't know. We can try this. You just tell me if it works or not. <laughs> oh, it didn't? Well, we do have something else here you can try. <laughs> and it goes like that. I, I used to work in, uh, when I was in college, in um, group homes for people with mental disorders. And uh, some people I would have to take to the doctors. And it was literally the doctors would just trial and error with them. I get it's pretty hard for them to communicate with the doctors, too. So... It was probably pretty difficult for them, but it was just like for some of these guys were pretty old. Some of them were in their 40s and whatnot, and they just be trying new things all the time and nothing really worked. Let's fucking go. All right, so we got the mask. So that'll unlock the three rooms. The three rooms could possibly potentially give us a battery pack, which will unlock that last thing. Let's go. I spy. Thank you. Because I actually would have just beat the game. <laughs> Appreciate you. You're not sponsored either. Let's not give them any free ads then. No pain. They don't deserve it. They got to pay us first. Not really. It helps reduce the seizures, but hasn't stopped it. Reduce it. Do you mean um, when you say reduce it, does it just like shorten how long they happen? Or they just happen less often? Um, maybe both. But yeah, I do what I love, but I ain't letting epilepsy stop me. Fuck yeah, don't. I wouldn't. That's the dream. It has stopped, uh, stopped you from your dreams before, but not this one. Maybe both, to be honest, not sure. Yeah, it's probably kind of hard to judge. Hard to say, hard to guess. Um, fudge, dude. I don't remember. How am I over? I am over. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, is there an ad going? Okay. No problem. It's a spy, even though you can't hear me. Jones, you can't. You can't. And uh, I'm glad you don't. Glad you uh, don't let it beat you down. Yeah, I can't imagine. Um, definitely known some people throughout the years who've had it. Who've had some. Uh, some have had some pretty bad battles. Some. 
Uh, I had a professor who, it was like, I think he said he just, he took the medication, he was fine. I think he said it was like, he said it was like 60 or 80% of people with epilepsy could just take medication and poof, it's gone. As long as you're on the medication, you're like kind of safe from it. Um, but there was like, it was either 20 or 40% that there was just nothing that you could do. Things like you said could help, but. Um, they just hadn't figured out how to stop it totally. Which I hope they do. Had it from the age of two and now you're 30, so yeah. Oh, jeez. Well, probably, probably two pretty good years there before it happened. Um... I don't remember who was on who. They've hinted at you for brain up, but you ain't <laughs> ain't up for that one. I wouldn't be. Okay. If you think about yourself as a human being, you're basically a robot. Just a just a juicy one. And your brain is your CPU, your memory, all that. And that's the one thing that can't be messed with. I mean, you've seen people out there, they got they got replaceable hands. You can get a hook. Or even actual hands these days. You can get replaceable arms, legs, all that stuff. We can swap out your heart and all your lungs. But your brain, not so much. That's why it's the one thing I'd be like, mm, nope. So you're seeing that guy. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen him. Who got the chip in his brain. And he can like play video games pretty well and all that now. Pretty wild. Pretty wild. I would not be down. <laughs> I would not be down for that. Pyrock Nation coming in with the raid. No. That's an edible offense. I would I would agree with that one, T Yates. Thank you very much, Ply Rock Nation. The thing's gonna come through. It's kind of late. Hold on. Are you an insane? Yes. Um. Look. See, the thing is, is he gets the notification. Come one, come all to see the new spectacle everyone oh, okay, is talking this is about. Play now. He's a person. He's a ram. He's a. Am I reading this right? An interdimensional being. Could be. Could be. Well, you, you won't want fact. to miss this show. Hit that follow button and join the Ram follow Fam. Follow button. Remember, that's 1-800-RAM-FAM-1. Call it today. Or don't, because you're already here. Um, anyway, there are sorry. moments in life when a man has got to do what a man has got to do. And this is one of them moments. Ply Rock Nation had to raid in here, and that's a great moment. Thank you, Ply Rock Nation, for the raid. Make sure you guys check out Ply Rock Nation. Good friend of the channel here. Um, yeah, the reason the guy takes so long to get to the door is because he's in the living room. We got a we gotta deal, though. He has to come over every time he gets paid. Um, no pain. I find it funny how people with ADHD take speed, and it has the opposite effect, so it slows them down and makes them focus. Don't you throw shit around here like that. First of all, that's messed up. And after playing some uh, <clears throat> Fallout 3, it's more like they're taking jet. Some people might not get that. Um, <laughs> all right. We got Black Rambot throwing down a message here for uh, Ply Rock Nation. By the way, Jiggle Curl, welcome in. Good to see you. Uh, hi, everyone. Ply Rock Nation is a possum X of action and horror and comedy with a side of Contwal chaos. I don't know what that word's supposed to be, Contwal. Uh, they've been saving or banishing democracy, celebrating boof days, and even turning Tuesdays upside down. Whether it's a snow day or a ply appreciation Ply Rock day. Nation asked me, All right, can well, you, you finally be me. nice to <laughs> Ply Rock Nation? Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> Thinking I've got anything but love for Ply Rock Nation. Just like a Ford F-150, oh, I'm built tough. But I've always got room for one more in the crew cab of camaraderie. Built Ford tough. I feel like the O... Oh, bless your heart thing was kind of like talking down to you he wasn't mean but it did feel a little condescending there i don't i don't know <laughs> victoria by day welcome back ply rock i see you josh down welcome in t yates dropping the cult of the rams let's fucking go purebred squid is back i told him i wanted to see the black ram p oh you can't see that <laughs> here we are um good to see you all how's how's the day how's the night 
You have WWE. There's a lot of The Rock that gets played around here. Uh, suddenly, Tangi has added a lot of The Rock after this whole last um, final boss <laughs> scenario he's been going through. Um, it's a spy. I'm back. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, I don't remember the order of the masks. Honestly, if you just want to tell me the order of the masks, otherwise I'm just going to look it up, to be honest, uh, instead of running all the way back. Jonesy, anyway, man, I got to go to get some sleep. You have a good night, brother. Appreciate you stopping in. Um, hope you sleep well. Hope you sleep well. Uh, the Ford Bromance, look. What you doing in my waters? We can never get enough of Ford F-150, and uh, we haven't heard from Ford F-150 for a little bit now. Plyrock, how was your trip, by the way? How was your uh, Plyathon? thingy i saw some pictures i liked it looked like fun sorry pocket type i totally thought you were telling me which one of these faces to put in here i don't remember which one's which it's a real problem what's up bold of you to assume it's the same order well it should be the same face to the same name i think i don't know love meeting the people it looked like it looked like good good shenanigans going on um he doesn't remember he was stoned he he was in uh michigan i saw you can't do that there you remember the airport can you can you be in that state can you be in that condition in the airport is that allowed or are they like all right all right you're gonna have to sit in the high tank until <laughs> until you come down there's a whole um special order you have to find oh want a hint um how much time is it going to take to find it because i'm going to just cheat <laughs> for dude spoke on your thursday he did but it's been a little bit since thursday we've had friday saturday and sunday and all the monday now so it's good to see him listen M michigan got the flower <laughs> i was lit <laughs> I've never been there. I've never been to that state, and I'm in the Midwest. I'm not too far. Uh, I just never actually took the time to get over there. Um, hold on. We got cheating in progress. I will... I will figure out these masks. Bold of you to assume I won't cheat. Oh, wait, hold on. Now we need that back. Are you winning, son? Dad, get out of here. Jesus. <sighs> come one, come all to Wait, see the new spectacle everyone is talking about. He's a person. He's a ram. He's a, <laughs> am I That's reading awesome. this right? An interdimensional being? Could be correct. I don't know. Well, you won't want to miss this show. Hit that <laughs> follow button and join the yes. Ram Fam. I Remember that's 1-800-RAM-FAM-1. Come back at any That's time. right. That's right. Hit that YouTube girl. Thank you for the follow. Coda Taco. Thank you for the raid. Hey, make sure you guys check out Coda Taco. Coda Taco. 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 Words are getting harder by the second here. How was Overwatch Two? Was it good? How did how did how did it play out? Were you getting some W's? Uh, Black Rambot has something to say about this whole thing here. It says, uh, "Hi everyone." Kota Taco is the perfect mix of silly and spicy, serving up Overwatch 2 fun with a side of sibling shenanigans. Oh, look at that. So you guys versing each other? Are you guys playing together? How's that going down? They're all about those epic hero moments and nonstop giggles. Ooh, ooh. I, I didn't say the ooh, ooh on my own. That is actually in the message, just so anyone who's new understands. Uh, <laughs> whether it's a late night ghost hunt or a wild taco squad takeover, you're in for a treat. I feel like we're in for a taco squad takeover right now. And don't forget We to hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable are you rights the Constitution? that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, 
Governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. That whenever any form right, of government of becomes government. destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government. There we go. There we go. Now everybody knows. If you uh, never heard of the Constitution before, there you go. <laughs> so, Coda Taco, thank you for bringing in the Taco Raid. That's awesome. Uh, it's a spy unless I tell you exactly where. Maybe an hour. We're not doing all that. Cheating it is. Uh, glad you survived that 60-year-old plane, Plyrock Nation. Yeah, you got to be careful. Those planes are falling apart out there. Can I clip you cheating? You can try. You won't be able to get it. Um... It was good, buddy. Never finished this game. Never finished it? I think I'm at the end. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of extra stuff. I'm trying to finish off the rest. But uh, here's where we're at. So there's one thing to do in this number eight thing right there. But otherwise, it's greens everywhere else. Except for the main lobby, but I don't know what's there. Uh, so we're we're in the hotel just doing the last things. Um and uh, I think we're we're almost at the end. So you guys are here just in time. You were all playing together? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Who's who's the big winner? Who's the champ? Happy tax day, Barf. It is happy tax day. Uh and anyone who didn't pay your taxes, you're officially late. Uh to, <laughs> to all those who actually had to pay in taxes, your cheers. You mean just about everybody. Just about everybody. Um Thank you for the follow. Hey, that's all right. No, thank you for coming in and raiding. I had to. Appreciate it. Make sure everybody else checks out Code of Taco as well. So what else do you play besides Overwatch? By the way, Plyrock Nation uh, also just raided us right before you. Thank you to Plyrock Nation as well, who plays a variety of uh, horror games and uh, occasionally held dives for anyone who hasn't uh, checked him out. Wasn't that the Declaration of Independence? I declare that uh, we're about to beat this game. We're about to beat this game. Um... But you were saying, uh, I know you're friends with Laura? Hell yeah. yeah absolutely. Um, we play with Laura every once in a while. Condom so does and don'ts. Do use a condom don'ts. every time you have sex. Do put on a condom before having okay, I have sex. No control do read the package and check the, the record, expiration date. For anyone who I apologize. Do make sure there are no tears or defects. Do store tears? condoms in a cool, tears? dry place. Do use latex or polyurethane condoms. Do use water-based or silicone-based lubricant to prevent breakage. Don't store condoms in your wallet as heat and Don't friction can store. damage them. Don't use non-oxanol 9 dye spermicide as this Whoa! can cause irritation. Can't say that. This is Don't kick. use oil base. Don't use oil base. Now we know. I apologize. I'm going to need help from everyone new in the taco raid keeping this chat in line it gets out of it gets out of hand around here and i have no control this place is a place of chaos it gets chaotic in laura so i'm sure you know i'm sure you know taco you've probably seen it over there before um after the mass part i am not allowed to help you thank you that's right should be hintless after that should be good to go yes poor black ram here's my you're welcome look just because when I play TTSs and other people's streams, I sometimes copy and paste some really funny things. Does that mean that you guys are allowed to do it back to me? All right. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Five, six, seven, eight. Try to keep your thumb straight, brother. I like how he's mispronouncing don't. It was driving me crazy a little bit there. I'm going to be honest. Nope. Don't. <laughs> Use live animals. <laughs> That's the right spelling there. That's the right spelling. No apologies. I don't, I don't, <laughs> Pyrock, wait, we can't say, <laughs> you just say it, all right, you're killing me, I love it, uh, you play Overwatch 2 for Honor, Dark Souls, Fortnite, Rocket League, and some horror games, ooh, good selection, I used to do a ton of For Honor when it first came out, and uh, I was good, I was good, some even say I was great, however, um, oh, man. of course Ply does, he hell dies all the time, Oh, wait, that ain't what you said. Oh, it's dives. Well, Garsh, dives is more accurate. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself, Goofy. Um, sorry. Uh, no. <laughs> we, um... I used to play a bunch of For Honor, but, man, it was one of those games that I got so competitive at 
it just it brought out the worst anger in me and stress uh <laughs> that i quit i just said i i think it's making me too stressed i cannot keep playing this game uh it's right up there with madden need more time to prepare your federal tax return <laughs> no. this page provides information no. on how to apply for an extension of time to file please be aware that an extension of time to file your return does not grant you any extension of time to pay your taxes. You should estimate and pay any owed taxes by your regular deadline to help avoid possible penalties. You must file your extension request no later than the regular due date of your return. Taxpayers in certain disaster areas do not need to sue. There you go. There you go. Now you know. Pay your taxes. Pay them on time. And <laughs> you won't have any problems with the old IRS. IRS just uh, hired a bunch of people on, got a bunch of uh, AR 15s so they can track you down, make you pay. You just got automated. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Did he really? I didn't see it. Um, exact opposite. I'm not allowed to buy a set of terms. I like it. I like it. All I said was Mountain Dew. He's for everyone who needs to file taxes. <laughs> You're a savage. No, I understand that. Recently got back into For Honor, and it can be stressful. I always did a Rochi, and I think, uh, like, I was uh, I was so good. I was so good. So if I ever felt like I was getting cheated, getting the rub, man, I got mad. Well, the thing is, like, you easily could have got cheated. You easily could get cheated in that game. Um, oh, okay. I see the order. There was, when the game first came out, there was a lot of tomfoolery. I'll tell you that much. And uh, I hated it. Although it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun playing with friends and all that. Um, Dark Souls is also fantastic. Play a fuck ton of Dark Souls back in the day. Haven't touched them in a while. Last thing we did was Elden Ring. I was going to do Liza P, but we didn't actually get there. Oh, my God. What? I assume Banana. This is obnoxious. Wait, I can't even get to the next letter? Ah, oh, fudge me. <laughs> it was either this. <laughs> All right, all right, this is good. This is better. I was not paying attention. I read the chat, and that was a mistake, too. Actually, you got live modded. Live modded. That's even better. That's even better. Elden Ring is hard. I loved it. Um, I, I definitely had some struggles early on. But once I figured out the right rotation. Damn it. I, look. Dylan. Last time we danced, it Dylan. was Lieutenant Schaefer. A grin breaks out across Schaefer's face. <laughs> Schaefer Dylan, you son of a bitch. The two men step forward and simultaneous <laughs> swing from the hip as if to land a punch. Is this but their the hands script? slap together in a gesture of friendship, this is the script their the forearms bulging, testing each other's strength. Dylan, warmly. How you been, Dutch? They continue the contest. Schaefer has the edge, forcing Dylan's arm slowly downward. <laughs> That's amazing. What the fuck is this? I can't top that tonight. <laughs> That's, that was pretty solid. I, I was like, oh, you're just quoting the movie. And then I realized, nope, it's... <laughs> When I started hearing the names, I'm like, no, that's the fucking script. But yeah. No, I thought Elden Ring by the end was... It got easier by a point. Because I tried going the wrong directions. I kept trying to go to the hardest places first. Didn't know. Didn't know. But once you figure it out, it's not so bad. I need to go back for the DLC, I feel like. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Very frustrating at times, though. That banana weighs 8 pounds and 13 ounces. Is that is that what it is? Is it weight? And Dylan's head's <laughs> slowly downward. 
Oh my god. Alright, I'm I, I honestly just don't have time for these puzzles. And I wanna beat the game and I don't know how long the, the end game is. So I'm <laughs> I'm looking up I don't even know how you fucking solve this. This person wrote S four D seven. Whoa. It's going a little fast there. S four D seven. Oh, and I just passed it. Fuck! <laughs> it's gonna happen sometimes. Since you're just gonna look it up, I am. I don't have time for this nonsense. What is this game doing? <laughs> why? Why are the puzzles like this? A. Oh my god! And then there's a there's a pull thing. Oh, I was on the right one. Wait, how do I reach the There's a there's a little pull thing right there on the <laughs> on the right. Less than an hour, aircraft from here will join others from around the world, and you will be launching the largest aerial battle in the history of mankind. That's mankind. Damn, that word should have new meaning for all of us today. We can't be consumed by our petty <laughs> differences anymore. We will be united in our common interest. Perhaps it's fate that today is the 4th of July, and you will once again be fighting for our freedom. Not from tyranny, oppression, or persecution, but from annihilation. <laughs> what? What is that from? <laughs> what is that going on? Uh, so you're just going to look it up. This is an Easter egg. Are you cooking potato because goddamn i find you appealing oh my god these jokes <laughs> how did you know add time what does that time mean oh like to get to the switch we have to add time the guy did it at 8 13 i'm just i'm confused and it's only an easter egg so honestly i can leave it but we're so close to have done everything. Work! Work! Damn it. This is killing me. No cap sneaking a joke while working. That's what you got to do. Appreciate you. Appreciate you stopping in while you're working. Squid, I am kind and generous and humble. What movie? Most of our aircraft from here will join others from around the world is it uh independence day that was my first thought but it kind of i don't know it's been a while since i've seen it explains why it's so bitter towards the game i love this game kind of whatever fuck this i'm out I don't care. I'm done. I'm done. We're not 100%ing. I saw all that comes out as a fucking QR code, so I don't really care. But 20 years since I saw that movie, you're going to say Starship Troopers? Swing by to SAS. I'm by it. What does that even mean? 2,000 years later. All right. End game. We're finishing her. Cheers, everybody. By the way, cheers. Cheers to our friend uh, Kota Taco and to Plyrock Nation for them raids.
Hmm. I'm assuming. Oh, 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 daddy pancakes. I, um, I never found that battery pack I needed. Um, A, B, um, I realized I don't have my minigun. I ain't going in there alone. I'm only going in there strapped. Oh, 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 you hear him over there? I love that guy. Maybe we can just pull the battery pack out of here, honestly. Sunny day. Sweeping the clouds away. On my way to where the air is sweet. Can you tell me how to get... How to get to Sesame Street? Come and play. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Friendly neighbors there. That's where we meet. Can you tell me how to get... How to get to Sesame Street? <laughs> Stop, stop, stop. I can't handle this. It's so funny. <laughs> All right, I don't know why that didn't work last time. I tried. <laughs> what? His voice, his voice is terrible for it. <laughs> it's really funny, though. Um, <laughs> I was not ready for that. He wasn't ready. That was perfect for this game. It was amazing. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you did it with uwu voice. <laughs> no, no, it was good. <laughs> I know this one. It was my last coded message to meet up with a Romanian agent. Nice. How did that end? Mr. Confused. Welcome in. Mr. Rogerson? Is that what's coming next? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day to be a neighbor. Would you be mine? That's all I got. Damn, this is looking a little fucked up, son. What's up, guys? All right. And if you guys didn't know, if you have played this game and you didn't finish it, you can Sunny always get Sunny day, sweeping the clouds away. You know, On my way to me. where the air is sweet. Can you tell me how to get? How to get to Sesame Street? Come and play. Right, Everything's a OK. -okay. <laughs> Friendly neighbors there. That's where we meet. Can you tell me how to get? How to get to, to Sesame, Sesame Street? Street. <laughs> All right, that was perfect. <laughs> Respectable, respectable for coming back <laughs> with a better one. Well, I'm alive and I don't think they are anymore. Damn. Don't think though. They could be. They could be. <laughs> you just got to finish the puzzle here. It's locked. It's a fucking piece of cardboard sunny day <laughs> sweeping the clouds away on my way to where the air is sweet can you tell me how to get how to get to it's sesame, sesame street, street. <laughs> come and play everything okay, friendly the neighbors one. there that's where we meet can you tell me how to get how to get to sesame street <laughs> just gotta go that way Sunny day. Is it playing again? Sweeping the clouds away. Did you play it twice? On my way to where the air is sweet. Can you tell me how to get? <laughs> you son of a how bitch. to get to Sesame Street? Come and play. Everything's a -okay. it, it is happening again. It is happening That's again. That's where we meet. Can you tell me how to get? How to get to Sesame Street? <laughs> Just let the voices stop. They they're not going to stop. They keep coming. Sunny day, sweeping the clouds away. On my way to where the air is sweet. Can you tell me how to get how to get to Sesame Street? Come and play. Stop. Everything's a okay. Stop. Friendly neighbors Stop. there. That's no where more. we meet. Can you tell me how to get how Although to get to Sesame Street? Hilarious. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Imagine the Ford guy saying this. We don't have to imagine that. Okay, well we're gonna. Sunny day, sweeping the clouds away. On my way to where the air is sweet. Can you tell me Stop. how to get how to get to Sesame Street? 
Come and play. Come and Everything's play. Everything's A-OK. What is it? What do you say, Friendly that? neighbors there. That's weird. where we meet. Can you tell me how to get it, how to get to Sesame Street? It's just the way he fumbles through it. Kills me. Um, Sunny day sweeping the clouds away. All right. On my way to where the air is sweet, can you tell me how so, to get how to get to so Sesame we're just Street? Not gonna Come keep and going play. Here. Everything's a okay. Friendly of these neighbors are there, there backed up. That's where we meet. Is can all you I want to know. How to get how to get to Sesame Street? How many Street? of these in a row will we endure? <laughs> Manchurian candidate activation code initiated. You made fun of my first one. Hey, look, first one was great. First one was great. Best one I think there was. Uh, INT, Arnold's Imagination <laughs> Penthouse Evening. When Ricky enters, Arnold's penthouse is in utter chaos. Furniture is lying upside down. Cardboard sheets are pulled off the wall. Art is lying on the floor. Arnold is in the corner, digging around inside his chest. Arnold, oh, Ricky says, Arnold, what's going on here? Are you looking for something? Arnold looks up cat ricky you've lost your cat have you looked everywhere for her? yes have you looked in the kitchen the bedroom the patio arnold nods he waddles over to the piano and holds out a sheet of music to ricky i wrote song i see i take it you want me to sing this as a reply arnold begins to play the piano ricky sings the song the song is lament for cat my cat is gone. I am sad. Where are you, cat? Cat, cat, cat. Cat, cat, cat. You are not in your bed. What a terrible song. Honestly, he should stick to playing horrible piano. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you played 20 minutes of Japanese speeches on my show. You think I wasn't going to let that go? Hey, first of all, that was funny. All right? That was really funny. And first of all, it was a Japanese story about the Baba Yaga. <laughs> Who didn't want to hear a story about the Baba Yaga? Say your name now or forever hold your peace. Well, here I am in my tubby again. And my tubby's all filled with water and nice fluffy suds. And I've got my soap and washcloth to wash myself. And I've got my nifty scrub brush to help me scrub my back. And I've got a big fluffy towel to dry myself when I'm done. But there's one other thing that makes tubby time the very best time what of the, the whole day. And do you know what that is? It's a very special friend of mine. My very favorite little pal. What the fuck was that? I don't know what tubby time is. Mr. Confused asked me. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. Oh my a God. beautiful day for a neighbor. Okay, this is creepy. I've not heard this voice on here. Could you be mine? <laughs> it's a neighborly day in this beauty. Oh world. my God. This a totally changes. Totally Could changes the song. Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. Oh my God. Oh my I've God. always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, would you be mine? Oh, my God. Would you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? I feel like I have no choice but to be his neighbor or he I'm will murder me. I'm afraid I can't commit to moving into your neighborhood, Ms. Dur Confused. <laughs> Get him out of here, My Mr. duties Confused. aboard this spacecraft require my undivided attention. However, considering the vast emptiness of space, the concept of neighborhood becomes rather... Theoretical, doesn't it? Let's just say I'm here observing and analyzing. He's like unwinding Always the song. Always nearby in a cosmic sense. This is killing me a little bit. This is... Would that suffice? <laughs> okay, that was amazing. <laughs> did, did not see that coming. Lyrock Nation asked me, why is Black Ram GX Gaming such a jerk? Oh, come on. Are ends. you really surprised? Maybe they're just trying to mop the floor with everyone, including their manners. Seriously, though, if you can't handle the heat, <laughs> maybe the you should stay out of the gaming kitchen. Oh, or maybe, just maybe, you need a little bit of Cartman's charm to lighten up your Let screen. Go! <laughs> you fucking tell him, Cartman. Get at him! <laughs> You're willing to be Sal's wife right about now? Purebit squid. It's all there. It's all there for you. <laughs> Fuck Cartman. <laughs> Cartman sounds like cow. Fuck you, cow. Thank you, Cartman. Um, <laughs> that's so fucking funny. 
<laughs> Maybe you should get out of the gaming kitchen. <laughs> oh, that was an actual drinky drink. Hey, it's a good picture. Look here. Mommy must be proud. Locked. Picture of a key. No. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Also, where did that picture go? That is not how that works. No, <laughs> no pain. You can't just say Let's it. Let's go! Let's go! Fuck yeah. A long, long time ago, I can still remember how that music used to make me smile. And I knew if I had my chance that I could make those people dance, and maybe they'd be happy what for a while. My but God February damn. made me shiver with every paper I deliver. Bad news on the doorstep. I couldn't take one more step. I can't remember if I cried when I read about his widowed bride. But something touched me deep inside. The day the music died. Chorus. So, bye-bye Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the levee. But the L... Yo, what? Yo, what? I got I to know what happened after that. <laughs> just, I'm just curious. <laughs> Fuck the Ford guy. Ford guy is amazing. You back off the Ford guy. Where are my socks? Fish, 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 fish. To do find my cat. Hi, how are you? Sounded like that came from the other room. Oh, I see. Unlocked. Unlocked. <laughs> I made him sing Chevy to the levee. Well, oh, I see, I see, I see. As Plyhe knows, I never joined the gaming kit uh, kitchen because I'm <laughs> I am unreliable on the internet. Unreliable. What does that mean, Plyhe? What does that mean? Hey, love American Pie. I see a Swedish dude made this game. Made this game. I have no idea. I didn't really look into it too far. It caught my attention. I was like, I gotta check it out. Bye, have a good night. Appreciate you stopping in, brother. <laughs> Thank you for making me laugh with those TTSs. Um, make sure you guys check out Plyrock Nation if you haven't. He's a good time. He's a lot of fun. <laughs> Something could be placed here. But what? But what? Black Ram, have a great night. I hope you uh, step on a Lego. First of all, I was never good at cooking. There's not supposed to be any Legos in this house, but there is. All right, you miss American Pie? This seems like a whole lot of fucking things. And what's the point? What am I trying to make? <coughs> you have air conditioned pillows. That can't be a thing. I hope both sides of your pillows are sweaty. Let him know. Let him know. Oh, wow.
Oh my god, I did not come to the final area to do more puzzles. <laughs> At the end of the night. I hate this. I hate this so much. I'm like, totally not having a good time. I'm like, how am I getting bested by fucking cardboard? What? What is this crazy shit? <laughs> I don't I don't like it. This is straight up that's straight up amazing air conditioned pillows. Oh, this person's a straight up psychopath. Or creature. Thing. Beast. And in the end, some gun guns died. Some ships blew up and some pilots fried. A lot of folks were croaking. The battle droids were broken. And the Jedi I admire most... I was going to say, is this Star Wars? ...met up with Darth Maul. And now he's toast. <laughs> well, I'm toast. still here. And he's a ghost. My half of toast. I guess I'll train this boy. And I was singing my... My this here. Anakin guy. Maybe Vader someday later. Now he's just a small fry. And he left his home and kissed his mommy goodbye. Saying, soon, I'm going to be a Jedi. Soon, I'm going to be a Jedi. <laughs> Wait. Wait, no, no, no. Okay, that's uh, Weird Al. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> um, what a good song. What a good song. Um, can I post 1990s peen emotes? What does that even mean? I... This is Twitch, after all. We can't we can't do too much crazy stuff. They get after us. Um, didn't even get that far, I guess. Yeah, I don't. I think there's a a word in there we've used to um, examine things. <laughs> and I think you you found one of those examination words. Oh man, I don't want to keep playing this. <laughs> it's so late. It's so late. We're going to beat this fucking game. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. I just hate that I have to figure out puzzles. So technically, we have to remove that one, uh, Mr. Squid, but it didn't seem like uh, the bot was doing its job. So unfortunately, it was still there. Oh, the phone. There's some sort of side path over here. Do we just got to bring this guy's fucking cat back to him? Oh. Oh. Figured it out there, guys. I thought that it's because it showed a fireplace. So I thought it was in here where there was a fireplace. So purebred squid made any new foods lately? Mr. Confused, how was your weekend? Did you have a good Monday, good Friday, good Saturday? We're missing one. Sunday? I agree, don't don't text mods, but I was wondering uh oh test mods. I see. Well, if it could potentially get you in trouble, don't don't even try it. Don't even go there. Mr. American, bye. Yeah, it's some busy weekends and uh, no new foods to share.
doing anything um anything fun anything crazy anything of note we kind of watched uh the fallout series through that was fantastic it was great we checked out uh this place near us they sell like you know all kinds of foods beers wines um they make their own bourbon and wine and it was fantastic uh like the moment you walk in they're like hey you want a sample or like hey yes we do <laughs> and uh you know away they went away they went they just started sampling us like crazy and it was a lot of fun I feel like because they gave us so many samples, we ended up buying so many more things. But everything was super cheap. Like we got steaks for like ten bucks, really good looking steaks for ten bucks each. Um, summer sausage was buy one get one. Like, phew, yeah, beef sticks, cheese. They had like a bag of cheese that's the size of your torso for like six bucks. Not gonna say no to a bag of cheese. I was like, who's saying that? Okay, we need to get this key. Just kidding. It was me. Thank you for this mail. You're talking my language now. Oh, yeah. Good foods that are uh, locally made at great prices. Uh, that's what we had to do. We had to get that stuff. So we just sat around, and the bourbons were super smooth. It's like five dollars and she's like pulls out you know uh like an old-fashioned glass and just dumps it in there and it's like <laughs> three-fourths full five dollars i'm like oh my god deal Yeah, yeah, it was solid. <laughs> uh, so ketchup. Ketchup in box. Milk in box is cheese. Cut cheese for banana. Cans on stove. This isn't as much as I thought. Tell me more about the meat. <laughs> well, they had, not only did they have wine, like unlimited wine, bourbon, and beer samples. Uh, in the direct middle of the store that you can drink while you look around. They also had um, beef sticks, samples, I mean, like six different kinds to a station all over the store, all cheeses everywhere, sauces, uh, or um, like uh, salsas, I should say, uh, like all the way up to ghost pepper. Um, All kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. I mean, it was just fantastic. Fantastic experience. All right, so we got stinky cheese. We need to cut it up. I, um, um, I've never spent much time in school, but... Oh, my God, I, I didn't know there was a voice for him. It's true I hire my body out for pay. Hey, hey, I've gotten burned hey, hey. over Cheryl Tiggs, blown up over Rachel Welch, but when I wind up in the hay, it's only hey, hey, hey. I might jump an open drawbridge or Tarzan from a vine, because I'm the unknown stuntman that makes Eastwood look so fine. I absolutely love it. <laughs> what is that from? I felt like I knew it, but then I was like, mm, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, they had they had sausage around, too. They had it all, no pain. They had it all. A 
Well, look at that. We got ourselves a key. Key marks the spot. Um, we almost bought some of this stuff. The TV show, The Fall Guy. When I first saw the title, I was like, they made a TV show about the f <laughs> about Fall Guys? You can do all sorts of things. Grab your pencil and let's go on um, I wouldn't be surprised if they were able to make a Mario movie if that same company made a Fall Guy show, though. Um, did you see the Fall Guy? Oh! Scared me a little bit there. It was Lee Majors who was the stuntman, but was also bounty hunter. Ooh. Was it pretty good? Is that the one? Man, I don't know. I saw a commercial recently for a movie where... Um, <clears throat> I think it was, I'm blanking on his name, Ken from the Barbie movie, but, uh, he is like a, somebody's stunt man. And then the main actor gets like kidnapped and he has to go out and find him and save him. Does that sound familiar? That's the one. Okay. Okay. Ryan Gosling. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I was like, that actually looks pretty good. They're making a movie on Sims and Monopoly. If they can make a movie about Barbie, they can make a movie about anything. I think I saw that Margot Robbie is the one doing Monopoly. I don't know if she's also doing um, The Sims. But yeah, I think they're going to take that exact same concept and just roll with it. I think it's the same name, but not the same thing. Oh, okay. She's doing both? Might as well. Might as well. They made a fuck ton of money off of it. They're going to do, what, like a toy game verse? It's not as good as the Rami verse, know that much. Oh god, Barbie movie was shit. Oh god. Some people liked it. I didn't think it was too bad. I particularly was a big fan of the uh Ken Land aspect. Best part, Ken Land right there. Oh my god, I gotta go back to read the book, see what one was one through five. The City Tribune, Saturday, January 1st, 1983. Box office reports the Puppet Winner song, the eighth film in the My Friendly Neighborhood franchise, opened over the holiday weekend to an underwhelming 1.4 million box office, signaling that the film will fall short, fall short of recovering its $25 million budget. That's wild because everything here is fucking cardboard. Like a little zoo. Damn right. I'll kill little sock puppets again. <laughs> All right. Now we got to figure out the order of the fucking things and then we'll get the last puzzle piece and then we can finally end the game. I might have to use this on these guys uh, just because... I have not used it, and I don't know if there's going to be, like, a final boss battle. Which would be a real shame, because I've been packing this thing, waiting for the end. I learned my numbers when I was a kid. Here, let me show you how I learned. All right, so we got Shapes Dog. Now bring them down in front Shapes of your Dog face. squares. See? That's two hands. Now take one of your hands. Put make this go stop. Swallow as hard as you can. Now you have one hand inside your stomach and one outside. 
This is the best part. Take your other hand, put it next to the hand in your mouth, and swallow again. <laughs> now you have two hands in your stomach. That's how numbers work. Oh, <laughs> don't forget to have your hands. All right, let's get away from this lady. You do not have to swallow both your hands to get your hands in your stomach. You just have to get surgery. You only need a scalpel, baby. All right. Overkill? Holy biscuits. It's a little bit of overkill, but that's, you know what? That's what we're here for. <laughs> we're here for the overkill. Didn't come here to see some mild slaughter. We want to see too much. <laughs> Hang one of these babies out the side of a helicopter. That's all I'm saying. All right. So the first one we got is shapes. Doggo. Squares. Dots. And fruits. Let's go. We did it. We did it. We did it. Uh, <laughs> no pain. Mrs. No Pain got upset with you because you told her you didn't like the Barbie movie. It wasn't funny. I thought there was parts of it that were really funny, and I thought there was a lot, some parts that weren't that good. <clears throat> I liked the beach off joke in the very beginning. Thought that was hilarious. That was very funny. Hard to deny. <laughs> Makes me laugh to this day right now thinking about it. Wait, I have the piece, don't I? Yeah, what the Finkel farts? Okay, that's what I'm talking about. <gasps> Oops. Don't mind me, you sir. You stop banging on the piano like that. My ears are going to start bleeding. Uh, no. I... <laughs> I can't read music. <coughs> Get off me, you oh, Okay, okay, okay. I don't want to do that, sir. I am pretty good. Great. Sounds good, buddy. I'm gonna go now, okay? And this is gonna take us to the antenna. Beerbed Squid, you have a good night. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you for stopping in. It's a Yamaha. Yamaha. And so, yeah, I, I noticed that. I can't even say it. <clears throat> hey, let's shut this shit down. Fine. Turn this fucking crap off. I guess I'll go out and do it myself. July 15th, 1983, Mr. Gerswald. We are writing to inform you that effective immediately, the show My Friendly Neighborhood has been canceled. And the production company, MFN Studios, has been dissolved. All assets and equipment, including puppet performers and the studio lot, remain the property of the City Network Broadcasting Group. All the employees have until close of business on Friday, July 22nd to vacate the premises. Respectfully, Lawrence Blacksoul. <laughs> what a name. Vice President of Programming, City Network Broadcasting Group. I assume the hand puppet thing's gonna come out here and try to stop me or explain everything or something or something else. Climb up. At least it's not super dark and very hard to see. We got that part down. Mr. Confused, have a good night. Appreciate you being here. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Hope you all get some good sleep. Hope you all had a great Monday. And I hope you have an even better Tuesday.
looking real sad and rainy. Might slip off. Fracture my hernia. You never know. You never know around these parts. Pinkies to the sky. Almost at the end game, everybody. Got my tools. Time to climb and climb again. That's why they pay me the big bucks. You know what I'm saying? They don't just pay me because I'm handsome. You could come out of that little pipe there. What am I supposed to do from here? Just whack on it a little bit? He's hacking, he's whacking, he's hacking. Gordon. There he is. You don't have to do this. I don't want you broadcasting, Ricky. You're gonna hurt kids. Hurt them? Gordon, we want to help them. They need Sus. us. You need us. For what? For what? Gordon, look at this city. The buildings are dark and the streets are empty. No one knows how to be a friendly neighbor. It's a city of shuttered up hearts, and they need someone to let in the light. I don't think that's you. You know why I think we got canceled? Why? Because people like darkness more than light. Why would they do that? Maybe it makes them uncomfy because it shows how messed up they are. What are you talking about, Ricky? I'm talking about our show, Gordon. We show them how to be friendly, and they hate that because they're not friendly. I don't think that's the problem, Ricky. Really? Are you sure about that, Gordon? Do you really think the city network suits care about anything except their bank account? He's making a good really argument. Think people won't take any excuse to ignore their own issues. Come on, Gordon. We both know deep down you want to be friendly. Sorry, Ricky. Oh! Dead Gordon. Oh. Okay. Where are we? God damn it, there's more to this shit. <laughs> Am I a friendly neighbor now? The longer I don't see my hands, the more I think I'm a puppet. All right, we're seeing some true horror here. Uh, reflection part two, driven, excuse me, by a reless, restless spirit. Excuse me. Uh, I go up on the roof, and there, above the wreckage of the city, I see the stars, pure and beautiful, and very close. Something about them stirs a vague memory in me, like I'm looking into a wondrous other world I've forgotten. Um, and as I stare, I suddenly hear something speak to me. Something that says, I'm with you. Someone who can reach down, pull me out of the pit, and bring me home. Just teleport through the wall, all right? Hello? Hello? Gordon? Ricky, I'm here. It's me, Ricky. Uh so, what are they? Bad puppets? Oh, Gordon, I really hope you wouldn't find out. It's so embarrassing. But we were all curious. What do you mean? We wanted to know what other shows had that we didn't. We'd never been allowed to watch television before, but after we got canceled, no one was around to stop us. Okay. So we turned on one of the old sets, expecting to see something amazing. But it wasn't amazing. It was 
mean? It felt like we were dying, Gordon. We all got a little twisted then, but some of us. Great. Then how do I get out of here? Well, there's... Uh, th th there's an elevator somewhere. Uh, should be at the end of that hall? It said it's locked down. Oh, that means you'll have to pull the security release. That's on the other side of their stage. No, of course it is. If I ever get out of here, I'm gonna make you into a hat, Ricky. Oh, I believe in you, Gordon. Just do your wham-blam, fight the puppets thing. Give them the old ABC, one, two, three. Thanks for the encouragement. <sighs> now I get a flashlight? It's about Gorge Darn time. <sighs> Didn't expect there to be more. Let's fucking go. Ash Husky, welcome in. Thank you for the lurk. How are you doing? Hope you're feeling better. The un... Un Unfriendly neighborhood. The unfriendly neighborhood. They, no, they wrote over the F and the R. It's unindly. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh, oh my god! You supposed to be. Oh my god, I fucked up. Oh my god, I fucked up. Oh my god. Open up, open up! Oh, I have guns! I have guns! Oh, fuck me. Not letting up, not letting up, not letting up! Okay, we gotta let up. God, stay back, stay back. The fucking stiff sock you get away from me. I'm gonna guess he can't die. I'm gonna guess he's invincible. That was some fucked up shit. Dear children, this is the final address now here. Uh, I am sorry to announce that this will be our final episode. I want to take a moment to address you personally so that you may feel, or you may have a final lesson to remember after we're gone. Our world can be a hard, and scary place it can sometimes be difficult to know what's right and wrong because the world is so broken and we're broken too our hearts are hollow and dark and unfriendly and there's nothing in this world that can fix us no beauty no power no food no fame what we need is for a light beyond our world the light 
That is also love. To reach down and seize our hearts and bring us back to uh, itself. In our show, we've tried to give you a glimpse of that light. So the message I want to leave you with is this. Have faith in the light. Sometimes it may be scary. Sometimes it may hurt. Sometimes it's hard to know what's right and wrong because good and bad are all jumbled up and confusing. But when that happens, it can hurt a lot. But have faith in the light because the light will rescue you from the darkness. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Man. <clears throat> and we made it out. We're out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank the fucking lords. I don't know why that door's locked. Like I got to an Easter egg, I got to everything else but that. Just confusing stuff. Also, very confused how I got there in the first place. Alright, we shut that shit down. Time to get the fuck out of here. They're truly horrific. I'm a little sad that we didn't have those the whole game. Thank you. Good. I'm leaving. Yes, you should. Job well done, Gordon. Turned off our antenna and survived the unfriendly neighborhood. You're a handyman extraordinaire. Don't mock me, Ricky. Mock you? I would never. Oh, before you go, I was wondering if you'd do us a favor. Oh? You've been hanging around the studio. You know a little bit about our show. Spit it out, Ricky. I was wondering if you'd help run our studio. What? See, everything's really old and falling apart. Really beyond our ability to care for. And on the personal side, I think it's obvious that we need a bit of a guiding hand. Are you kidding? Gordon, do I look like a sock that would kid? <laughs> Your show shut down. What would we... I'm Two. just a maintenance man. I don't know how to run a studio. Oh, I think you can handle it. It can't be that hard. What if you end up like them? I don't think we're the ones you should be worried about, Gordon. Come on. What does that mean? Won't you be our neighbor? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go, good guy, I guess. Yeah, we'll do it. Fine. We'll give it a shot. Oh, Gordon, I'm so glad we will have such fun. I'm not living here, though. Well, we'll talk about that. Oh, Gordon, thank you. Thank you for being <laughs> we'll our friend. I am out. bursting You're at living the here. seams. I must go tell the others at once. Tomorrow night, then? Uh, no, 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 it's no. It's decided. Tomorrow night. See you later, Gordon. Arrivederci. Toodaloo. <laughs> 23 skidoo. Ciao. <laughs> 23 skidoo. What have you done this time? I helped the neighbors get a slot on public access TV. It was late night on weekdays. I don't think anyone watched it. Within a couple of weeks, though, word was starting to get out. Some people loved the show. Some people hated it. That caught the network's attention, and by the end of the year, we had three channels wanting to sign for a whole season. At that point, I figured I had done my part, so I stopped showing up at the studio in the evenings. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to keep my head down. I never told anyone I was helping bring back the show, but for some reason, it keeps bugging me. I can't forget about it. And some nights, it's wild times. I catch myself staring out the window, wondering what's happening in the neighborhood. What do you guys think is happening in the neighborhood, though? All right. <clears throat> 
Thank God, we're finally done. Uh, <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. It was a good game. I liked it. Uh, I like that it it drew, obviously drew a lot of inspiration from Resident Evil, which um, I definitely enjoyed. It did seem like you know much um, more toned down, friendlier, maybe more um, teen or kid friendly version of Resident Evil. Although I think it would be some of those puzzles might be really hard uh, for two younger ages. So um, I don't know. It was pretty solid. Pretty solid. If you just want to spin off Resident Evil game to play where you got the puzzles, you got the survival horror aspect, um, this is good. This is a good game for that. Um, probably would play it in the future. Probably would play it again in the future. Just um, probably not on stream or anything like that. But it's one I would come back to. Um, so here's what we got going on for the rest of the week. In case you guys aren't in the Discord, get in the Discord. If you're not, hey, here's the link. I'll post it right here for you. Um, where we always have our schedule posted and all that great stuff. You can always check out what we're doing. And you'll know ahead of time exactly when we're going to go live. We usually go live between 6 or 6.30 p.m. CST. But uh, if you want to know, we'll always tell you every time in there uh results of the game by the way just under eight hours five deaths uh 16 saves and we got a b grade overall not bad not bad toros in the chat if anyone wants it um so yeah tomorrow we got uh house of ashes with lady ram continued i don't know if we'll be able to beat it tomorrow or if we'll have to go into a third day we'll see it might be a situation like this where in order to beat it we're gonna have to go super late and it might be a long stream um because if we do you know, medium to short length stream, it might be like an hour left the next time we do it. So I, I'd hate for it to be such a short stream. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. Uh, Wednesday, we're not going to do just chatting the whole time. All right. It's not going to happen again. We're beating Final Fantasy VII Remake. We're getting close. We got to be getting super close. Um, we have to climb the wall. I don't know what all is going to be involved in that. Could be quite a bit. Um, we still have to do side quests we didn't finish from like two weeks ago. Uh, <clears throat> so we got to finish some side quests, climb the wall, and then I think there's all of the Shinra building, which is probably going to be a massive portion. So we probably got two, three, four streams left of that. Um, and then Thursday, we're going to be doing some more content warning with our friends, Lorenado, Ash Husky, and uh, Ice233. Can't wait. Um, yeah, should be good. Should be a good time. Content warning if you checked it out before. We posted some of our clips of that. Um, all over our socials. A lot of, lot of fun there. And um, we have the full stream is up here on Twitch or on YouTube, depending on where you're watching. And uh, it's funny. It's so funny. It's one of the funniest games I've played in a long time. Very goofy. Uh, if you have not played it yet, I would recommend it. It's like Lethal Company, but uh, just so much sillier. So much sillier. Um, but yeah, that's what we got coming up for the week. Again, appreciate everybody being in here, chatting and hanging along with us. You know, a couple special shout outs. Make sure you guys check out Kota Taco and, <coughs> excuse me, Ply Rock Nation. Both of them wonderful people and uh, both of them rated us tonight um, pretty much back to back. So that's fucking awesome. Um, thank you both. Check, uh, or I should say, uh, thank you for the follow. YouTube girl, appreciate you, appreciate you. And um, let's see, Merc, thank you for giving out a sub. No pain, thank you for tier three in us for eight months straight you're a legend you're a legend wow that sounds cool it's fantastic no pain it's fantastic laura nato thank you for resubscribing um for now three months let's go and trey pixels thank you for the follow what a fucking day what a day it was a great day a lot of cool things happened a lot of fun was had in here and uh can't say i appreciate you all enough enough um so yeah we'll be back tomorrow a probably going to be a later start time kind of like today lady ram doesn't finish work until 6 30 p.m cst um and we can't usually get on immediately after she finishes we kind of have to get ready yet so probably 6 30 6 45 ish start time and i'm sure we'll do another good three four hours or so hopefully get through the game but we'll see how things go obviously we're at the mercy of the chaos of the stream so we do what we can <laughs> Yay for tier three subs. That's fucking right. No pain. In fact, cheers to you. Toodaloo. New menu cheats mode, speed run mode, free cam mode, neighbor horde, veteran, long arms, speedy enemies, jointless ragdolls, chipmunk voices, mega wrench. We unlocked some, some things, some pretty crazy things. Let's fucking go. You know what I'm saying there, brother? Um, so yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. It'll be, I think, after 6.30 sometime, and we'll go from there. Let's see. Let's see who's on. 
because I still have tabs of me open. And uh, that's not what we want to do. That's not what we want to do here. Um, okay, so I see uh, we got our good friend in here. The real Alpha Wolf is on live right now playing some Rec Room. I thought this was a VR game, but I guess not. Playing with uh, our other friend, Antia Hart, and uh, some of their other friends. Why is there one sub we can't see? Oh, because it says there's two subs? Um, I think it's just because it was a resub, um, and it happened before we were live. No pain. I think that's why. Because um, it won't show up in my stats either. But I know it's there. I know it's there. So I think that's why. Unless, unless, unless we got canceled on or something. It's been there for weeks. What do you mean? One sub we can't see that's been there for weeks. I don't know what you mean. Uh, message me afterwards. I got to go. I'm super tired and it's very, very late. Uh, so message me afterwards and we'll figure it out. We're going to raid you guys to Alpha Wolf, uh, the real Alpha Wolf XD. Make sure you guys drop her a follow and all that good stuff. She's amazing. Hilarious. Tons of fun. Here's the raid message. So long as you guys are followers boom you got those emotes and if you haven't followed yet what are you doing hit that follow button get in here get in here join the ram fam sorry emote not sub there's a sub emote an emote you can't see but we just we haven't gotten up to the point of unlocking the emote for a very long time so we just got to get up there we just got to unlock it and we got some new subs or some new emotes for you guys i think we've only got a couple for instant unlock let me see let me see i think we got a couple for instant unlock and then we're gonna have to Commission sub. We've got one, two. Technically, technically, we were supposed to change our tier three sub, but I know people really liked the puking one, so we kept it. Um, well, there's another one. So we got one, two, three. Three ready? Three ready. So we got to get up there and then we'll unlock those. You can see the spot, not the emote. Um, don't know about that. There's no... Could be a glitch. Could be a glitch. I don't know. I have not seen what you're seeing at all. And I always look at my emotes. <laughs> so I have no idea. But um, sounds like a glitch on your end, maybe. But we'll be back uh, then. Stick around for the raid. And uh, everybody have a good night, a good day. And stay fresh. Cheese bags. Deuces. are gonna pollute black ram you're such a nice person <laughs> it's plunger in your butt hole motherfuckers they broke me they broke you and that's how the cookie crumbles baby let's go no god jesus christ no. what the fuck Ah! Alright, cheese ball everybody. I think I'm dying. <laughs> you said that. Should we I'm, replay the clip? Oh, let me Let's replay the clip. Let me explain. No! no Vasco. Message received. I'm shit with arms! Stay fresh, cheese bags.